and welcome to tonight's episode of Party of Two, where a married couple takes on a world of gods and monsters. Gods and monsters. Monsters. We are so excited to be with you guys tonight and to continue our amazing story. Oh, I don't have my drink. Where's your drink? I think it's upstairs. Go get your drink. Okay, Weston's going to handle the rest of our intro. I'm going to entertain you while Haley goes and gets her drink. Because I know she's not making it through this game without a soda. No, or my candy. Or her candy. You have candy? I didn't know there was candy. Why don't I get any candy? I didn't want my candy. So, uh, we had actually been way too much sugar today. We had a birthday party for our son. And then we had a Christmas activity to go to. There was chocolate and candy canes and all that sugary nastiness. So, we are tonight continuing our game of the Scions, which we are in the final season of. Tonight is officially episode one of season six, which will be the season, the final season of the Scions. Oh, oh my wife caught our son with our switch, didn't she? No. Oh, no. Just being cautious. Yeah. I'm just being smart. Ah, smart wife. Smart mom. So, uh, yep, I was just telling you, uh, so this is episode one of season six. Oh, my gosh, it is. Yep, episode one of season six. So we are continuing the story, and uh, things are going to ramp up real fast. And How did that real happen? Interesting. Real quick. How did we get? This is the final season, you guys. It is the final season. It's the final countdown. Do, 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 do. All right. So, uh, <laughs> announcements. We will so be dark nerdy. next week. We will be here. Because we're going to be in Dana Point, California. Yes. On the beach. Haley's going to be on the beach. I'm going to be working. I took two days off. So, I have to work one of the days that we're there. But I took two days off. And we are going to be there and I'm going to be on the beach. I'm going to read. I'm going to do some singing because we're at a really, really large resort hotel. Um, and as opposed to last year, which yep. was like this teeny tiny little like B and B. Uh, but this is like a massive hotel. So I'm pretty sure I can go find a room that I can go sing in isolation. I don't, I don't know what options they've got after you, you can probably check amenities for that. Well, I'll just go up to the front desk. <laughs> And be like, hey, I'm here with a warrior for an event thing that they're doing. <laughs> I'll just throw around my brother's name because they... we're not even having an event there, though. Our... Oh, but anyway, we're sidetracking. So uh, Sorry. other than that, yes, we'll be dark next week um, because we will be in Dana Point for that. And so we will not be here to, ep uh, to record. So we'll be back the week afterward to continue. Um... Because Christmas is on a Saturday, we should be able to stream. Sunday. It's on a Sunday. Well, mm -hmm. Christmas Eve is on the Saturday. Sorry, for me, it's like Christmas is like both days. They come back. I know. I know. They kind of feel like the same day. Yes, uh, so we should be able to stream on the Friday before and everything. And so we should be able to stream all the way through uh, until the end of the campaign. Cool. Because New Year's Day is also on a Sunday. So New Year's Eve is on a Saturday. Yeah, we don't have any interruptions. So we shouldn't have any interruptions. For the next six weeks or so. Yep. And then. And then we'll be. <sighs> then we'll be taking a break uh, and getting ready for the new campaign with the new homebrewed world. Mm -hmm. And starting up that. Deciding what iteration of online media that is going to take place in. Correct. All right. Cool. So that's all the announcements for now. So I'm ready. Haley, you ready? I'm ready. Haley's ready. I'm ready. So let's jump in. Nice Everybody's ready. Of the Scions. It helps if I go back to the main screen after <laughs> the introduction. That kind of helps. So, 
last time. We're super on top of on it. On the Scions. I just want to say really quick, like Weston and I have both worked two full days and like not two full days, but full work days. We had our son's birthday party. We had our ward church Christmas party, uh, which was a live nativity, which is super, super awesome. And we got all of that done. And little goats. There was a camel. There were little baby goats that were so cute. And they're, they were all so humanized that like they would just like, you could pet them like you would pet a dog. And they were just like all into it. They were like rubbing up against you. And there was a, a highland long haired cow, which is the type of cow that I want. Oh, you guys, this mama's going to need to have acreage at some point. At some point. Because I need to have a cow. I need to have goats, chickens, and um, a horse. Okay. Right. Anyway, sorry. There's just a sidetrack. I was just, just giving an explanation as to why our brains are a little off tonight. My brain's fine. We are very... I called somebody that I have known for three years by the wrong name tonight. <laughs> And like with nothing in my head that told me that that was the wrong name. It was super awesome. Anyway, Weston, please tell us what happened last time. So last time on the Scions. <laughs> so we, uh, our party had found Shimonji, had interrogated her and found out that Kuth Waldwin and Ketapesh, which have united in this war, are most likely under the control of an ancient Algothu, a veiled master, the leaders of the ancient Algothu race that caused the star fall in ancient times. Hey, Joe! Hi, Joe! Oh, no, there's games. There's just no interview shows. No, no yeah. Interview shows, no but interview shows, but so not our Wednesday shows, but our Friday shows are still good. We actually were talking about how we're going to be dark next week. But then we're going to be good for like the next six weeks because we're in season six now. And this is like the final story arc. Yep. But uh, so you found out that it's uh, most likely in some way connected with an ancient Algothu. You then um, headed back to the um, Revenel because you wanted to get Sia away from anyone that you didn't know and get her with safe people that you trusted Got her back to Ravenel, talked to some people, made some contacts, but then were pulled back to Anduran, to Agustana, for this council of war. There you were surprised when the Vicarious of the Order of the Gate showed up, uh, having come back from their summer home in hell. Uh, him and she, um, Shell, the Lich King that works with him there with Incidental Emphorak. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh! I should probably have the chat up so I can. Joe, see. Joe just said uh, next year, um, Nexus is finally releasing the closed alpha character builder. If we wanted to jump on, oh, the for Pathfinder. Oh, uh, but, but Path Builder is so good and is free. Yeah, I like Path Builder. And um, is free. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna so, pull Twitch up on my phone so that at least like can see the chat because we're trying something new tonight because like seeing the numbers and stuff freaks me out so. She's got I'm trying on. to stay focused on the game and just chat and not like the number of people that are here or whatever because it just stresses me out. So, but you, uh, they joined. You had a tense moment with them. <laughs> yep. Uh, as you seemed to have a difficult time with them being there. Yeah. On a you then had a discussion uh, regarding the nature of this war. Finally, the. Leaders united in an agreement that they needed to not sit back and wait anymore. And that they would need to fight their way towards West Crown, the old capital of Cheliax that has been given to Kuth Waldwin by Abigail Thrun as to be his base of operation. Fight their way in and then send in a strike team to try and take him out. Oh, thank you. Angry Nerd Girl is raiding us. Oh, uh, thank you, Angry Nerd Girl. Welcome. I, I hope you're not angry right now. Uh, yeah, please don't be angry at us. We're nice. Be angry at the world. If you're new here, we are party of two, a two, a duet, uh, Pathfinder 2nd Edition actual play. Uh, we are just starting tonight as we jump into our campaign of the Scions. Yep, if, this is the final story arc of a year and a half long campaign. But it's okay if you don't know what's going on; it's fine. 
My character is a emotionally damaged uh, tiefling, former Hell Knight, and she has a little sister she's very, very protective of, but has been given the charge to destroy the bad guy by the god Phrasma, who is awesome. And yeah. Weston plays all the other characters. And I play all the other <laughs> characters. Um, and if you want to have a dragon, if you notice the little dragons on the screen, if you follow, you get a dragon. Yeah, you get a little baby dragon to play with. So, you are now st- standing at this Council of War. They have all looked at you. Uh, just a reminder, because I imagine you're not remembering who all is there. Uh, the two... The two hell guys. Hell guys, um, right. I don't remember their names. <laughs> um, but those two guys, the Domina, the um, the Supreme Elect is there. Do you just want me to give you the rundown? Sure. I was just wanting to prove to you that I, I do know what I'm talking about. It's all right. So uh, you have there the leader of the Pathfinder Lodge from... Um, where I was looking and I was reading and I don't know. of Absalom. You have the Primarch of Absalom there. You mm-hmm. have the leader of the Dwarven Nation. You have the Domina, of course, from Ravenel, where you're at. You've got um, the Supreme Elect from Andoran, the country you're currently residing in. Tessa Windfair, one of the most notorious of the pirate Oh, captains. yes, the pirate chick is here too. Yep. So yeah, and then High King, High King Borgrim the Hale, from uh, the Dwarven Nations. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, Vicarius, Giordano, Torchia, and Shell from the Hell Knights. And Anna and, um, and As were just like voluntold to be the strike force to take Kuth Waldwin out by the Morrigan, who's a uh, messenger from Phrasma. Yep. I remember that. Well, you had. Um, there had been that you needed some uh, some help, I guess. Yeah. Believing that uh, you've been chosen by Phrasma as her champion, and so you're the one she would want there. Actually, you weren't told by the. Were you told by the Morgan? This was the Morgan. Yeah, it was the Morgan that was there, and so, she she t- turned into a bunch of spiders and went skittering away. Ah, uh, yes. So that is where we will start tonight's game. So. Oh, and real quick, uh, just so you know, music is provided by Sirenscape. Woohoo! We use Sirenscape. They're amazing, uh, providing sound effects and uh, audio for our games. So, here in Andoran, you now can sit at the table. They've all now turned to you, acknowledging you as the one to lead the strike into West Crown. Supreme Elect turns and looks at the rest of the table. All right. So, we have a plan. Well, we have a, a part of a plan. We have 11%, 11% of, a, of plan. a plan. But we need to put together the rest of the plan. We take a look at what our resources are and decide our mode of attack. And so we're going to real quick. And so as she does that, she motions to the side to one of her chancellors, who then brings out a large map showing Cheliax and the borders around it and rolls it out on the table for everyone to see. And this is, we need to plan where we go from here. And so now, what the... Just going to switch to sharing my screen, but something's not on there. Give me one second. Get this up and run. This. There we go. Not combat is brought to you by. Now it's showing. Now it's showing up. Nat twenty design. Show, uh, Haley, uh, if you open up your Discord, uh, yes. there's a message from me. Oh, there is. With the map. All right, hold on. Go ahead and click on it. I will go. I'm showing and, it wait, to is you it a all? personal message or is it a personal? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. When did you send it? Oh, you sent it today at five. Yes. Why didn't I get a notific- notification? That's weird. Go ahead and open up your map. All right. I am opening the map. Oh, okay. I see it. Oh, wow. 
So before, and then she puts down a series of markers indicating different forces. Here before you is the map of the different forces that are on your side and on the, uh, and the forces that are placed throughout Cheliax. Okay. West Crown is down here at the bottom. Let me see. I can do that little ping. Oh, no, I can right? see it. I can see it. Let me see if I can ping it for our ping. I can draw a little thing right there. You should be able to see that. Right there is where it is at. It's red. So I just encircled it with red and yellow. Yep. There you go. So what are we going to do? What resources do we have? Now, Haley, the, I'm going to give this to you. The crowns are all the, um, are those the Chalaxian? Those are the Chalaxian Oh, bloody hell. Really? So, okay. here um, is how this is going to go. So, we're going we're gonna to jump into a mini game. A bit of, not really a mini game, but a, a larger mini game. Because it's going to take a little bit of time. <laughs> the way this warfare is going to run. Because you've got to get to West Crown. Mm -hmm. This is going to be treated as forces. So, if you notice, you have four different military units or groups that you can use. You have the Revenel Army. Mm -hmm. Up here in the top. Nope. Nope. Oh, yeah, switch my. Come on, switch to the hand. Switch to the hand. Hey, look, Revenel is now purple. There you go. Revenel is now purple. You have the Anduran forces here with the uh, with the um, blue in the bird insignia. You have, if you remember, uh, the Hell Knight forces are going to try and sneak in mm -hmm. and get into Abigail Thrun, and then down here. Oh, oh yeah, we've got the pirates. The Skull Shackers. And the Pirates. Okay. The Skull Shackers down below. These are your forces. Now, you have a group. You have a, there's a list that I've been keeping of different NPCs that you have brought to your side. Right. You can decide where they go and how they help. Okay, where is the list of NPCs? So, I'm going to read these off to you. Oh, and You can kind okay. of decide where they're going to go, and I'll tell you how this is going to work. So, each, this is going to act like a normal Pathfinder uh, combat. You have three actions per round that you get to take. Mm -hmm. If you are able to sneak or be able to recall knowledge, that means that you were able to sneak in or gather information, espionage, which leaves the opposite force flat-footed. Mm -hmm. In this, everyone has a um, starts out with 20 hit points. Every force starts with 20 hit points. Okay. Everyone so clearing off my, yep. my everyone's dice uh, you could say AC is 11. Okay. And they have a plus zero to hit. So, okay. So that's where every military force starts as. However, for each NPC that you add to a force, mm -hmm. there is a bonus to the different skills that they can do. Okay. So, you got a little place to, to write down some stuff? Take some okay, notes. Okay, I've got, I've got my sticky pen. All right, take your sticky pen. So, you can <clears throat> deploy the silver torrent. Okay. Which will give you a bonus to melee attacks. Um, a bonus like plus two? plus one plus one it's always okay. a, it, it's generally a plus one for all this okay so you can do a silver torrent okay farmer magdalene will give you a uh, a plus one to stealth or recall knowledge okay delta hold can on, be deployed which you oh. there you go delta will give you a plus one to attack for magical attacks. I just spelled magical with two Gs. That's fine. The Enferak Hell Knights will give a plus two to combat. Ooh. Leto will give a plus one to magic. Sia will give a plus one to, to recall knowledge. Okay. 
Okay. And then as slash Charles and Anna can each go with a force and each of you give a plus one. Two. Uh, combat and magic, okay. respectively. So each round, you have three actions. Those can be used to do, you have three different uh, types of things you can do. So you get to move. Mm -hmm. You can do a skill check. You can do one type of skill check, so that means you can either do stealth, you can do a recall knowledge, you can do a diplomacy if you want to. Okay. You can do, you know, any of those will leave the opposing force, if you succeed, flat-footed. Which okay. means their AC goes from 11 to 9. That's awesome. You, um, if you, once you hit, you do 1d4 damage. And, okay. they only, and they have 20 hit points. Okay. And that's how it all works. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, I just need to know where... All right. You want to put everyone. So we are currently, where are we in this moment? Like on the map, where are we at? You're in Andoran. I know. Where is that on the map? It's the blue. Uh, are we in the blue crow? Yeah, blue crow. Okay. I think it's a seagull. That does not look like a seagull. No, that's an eagle. Like an eagle. That's an eagle with a sword. All right. Um, all right, so... Whoa, that was way too far. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm like getting messages from my other game that's playing right now. They're doing Christmas presents in the VTM game that I'm not present at right now. <laughs> so I'm getting messages of like, this is a present for your character. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you guys are so cute. Oh my gosh, why can I not just scroll in like a normal human being? I don't know. There we go. There we go. I figured it out. We're good. Okay. Um, right. So, Az and Honor are going to go on the pirate ship. Okay. To get around while I'm going to have to place a couple forces. The Kentago forces. What? Like, no, 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 no. This is cheating. No, it's not. I, I just forgot to place them again. The map made me refresh, and I had to redo the map. Oh, and that's I annoying. To put the stuff. All right, I would just like to say, this is not the first time Weston has done this to me. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, okay, so that's not going to change my. You know, oh, We're sorry, I gonna... forgot a couple more. And there's a dragon. Uh, there's is a it huge a, is dragon. Is it an ancient gold dragon? Yes. No, it is an an ancient umbral dragon. <laughs> There's only one of those. Good luck getting out, getting it out from the underworld. Um, okay, so no, you no, no, no. Giant dragon there now. No, 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 no. Um, so Anna and Az are going to go in the pirate ship. Kay. Oh, sorry, excuse me, Anna and Charles, and then they are going to go stealthily towards West Crown. Well, at the same time, I want the forces from Kintago with Leto. I don't want Farmer Magdalene as well. No, we'll do Leto, Sia, and Theo, who's obviously going to tag along. Um to be with the forces in Kintago. So that will give them a plus one to magic and plus one to recall knowledge. All right. Um, and I want them coming down towards West Crown. All right, we'll get into we'll get into where they're going in just a minute. Oh, I'm just assigning right now, a we'll moment. Just, just oh. assign your okay. people. Um and then I want with the uh Andoran armies. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, sorry. Let me let me go back. So Leto Sia and the Infrarac Hell Knights are with are, are with the Kintago. Okay. So you're not sending those with the uh with um the Hell Knight leader? No. Okay. Um I want them to protect my little sister. So they get to protect my little sister. Right. Um Okay, so with the Andran forces, it's going to be 
um, the Silver Torrent. I'm just going to go with them because I don't think they'll take very kindly to going with the former leaders nope. of Enfrac. Um And then have Delta and Farmer Magdalene. Actually, Farmer Magdalene be with um, Andran and then Delta be with the Hell Knight Order. Okay, so Delta's going with Hell Knights. <sighs> Look, it's not perfect. Okay. <laughs> there's no really, I mean, besides putting him with the Queen or oh, the Domina, I don't think there's anywhere like particularly perfect for him to be. Okay, let me make sure I got everyone here. All right. I think that's everybody. Okay. So yes. you currently have the pirates have a plus one to um, magic and a um, plus one to melee. Mm -hmm. Kintargo has a plus two to uh, combat, to melee combat. Mm -hmm. And because they've got Ledo. Plus one to plus magic, one magic and, and plus Sia. One, yep, and plus one to recall knowledge. To recall knowledge. Then we got Farmer Magdalene and the Silver Torrent with Andran and then Delta with... So plus one melee, plus one stealth to Andran and then plus one magic to okay. the Hell Knights. <sighs> All right, then. So you now have arrayed your forces mm -hmm. um, against them. Yes. Now that we've uh, arranged that, we can start the war. Okay. So, give me one second. Gotta this isn't some, stressful at all. Change some music Hey, guess here. what? Those of you who have a stupid amount of channel points, this is a very good time to use them. What was that? We're going to war. That sounded like an animal. So. Okay. I want you, first thing I want you to do, is I want you to roll a d20. Okay. 11. Am I adding anything to it? Nope. Okay, just 11. You won initiative. <gasps> oh, yay. So, Haley. Yes. We, we, who are you going to attack first? Okay. Okay, what's the distance in this? One move. It's one move to everybody. So, one, but what's it like? What, one move could be like. One turn moves you towards one space. Does it like go into one of the bracketed line spaces? Yep. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, so Andran, I want to come attack this place. All right. I don't know. Where, where is this? I don't even know where that is. It's a part of Chelyax. Okay, there we go. All right, well, they're going to go attack there. Okay. They attack their own front. This front has been riddled with combat for months. It has tons of automatons and hell well, knight Why didn't you tell me that before? No, it's fine. You, the Andoran uh, forces rally, gather their forces, combined with the dwarves, they attack. Roll your attack. Now, uh, real quick. Well, actually, real quick. Let me. Now, you have three actions. Do you wish to recall knowledge? Oh, to get them oh, footed. Yes. Or? yes, 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 yes. Okay, so with this force is the um, Swarm of Magdalene. Correct. So you get a plus one on the roll. And the silver torrent. Yep. So, yes, I would like to do a recall knowledge of huh, 12. That succeeds. Oh, okay, fantastic. Okay, they are now flat-footed. They have an AC Sorry, of this nine. Is like, this is like D&D, &D, not Pathfinder at this yeah. point. So I need to remember that. Small numbers. Small numbers. <laughs> All right, so they're what at this point? They're flat-footed They're flat-footed, so they have an AC what, of nine. What did I learn? You learned where exactly they kept their cache of weapons. Ooh. And so you were able to... Farmer Magdalene, Burn it to the ground! Farmer Magdalene took some of her uh, um, halfling uh, agents and they destroyed their cache. Good job. Leaving them low on arms. Fantastic. Okay. So then... So that was second action. Third action is to attack, which I we do Wait, have... So first action was... Was to move. Was, oh second yeah. action was to recall knowledge. Third is to attack. Attack. Go ahead. Okay. 
And it's plus one because we have the silver yeah. torrent there. And same crit rules apply as normal combat. So tens. So, so have I got yeah, a nineteen or nineteen yeah. or twenty crit? Okay. Yeah, that's not. That is. That doesn't even hit. That's rude. Uh, it's a six. Yep. Six. Hey, hero points. Six plus one will not break the nine. No, it's six. It's five plus one. What? Oh, okay. Six. Nope. So you go in. You manage to burn their cash, but you don't manage to do any damage to them. Dooms. I know you have a lot of hero point or or channel points. Come on, man. Come on. All right. Fine. Now, because you are, uh, so they are going to attempt to recall knowledge on you, and they do manage to. Ah! They manage to recall knowledge. They manage to scout out your location. Here's the unfortunate thing, is that they manage to critically hit you. Finding your location, they sent a strike force of automatons, but I also rolled... Minimum damage. Oh, one. So of your 20 hit points, you take two points of damage. Yes. All right. Are you going to keep track of that? Yep, I am. Okay. All right. So you are down uh, two points on your army. Okay. Though uh, Mm -hmm. they will do one and then they missed one time as well. So that is the end of their turn. Okay. They are still flat footed to you. Okay. That's good. Um... uh, Next, I would like to try and the Kentargo contingent. Okay, so you're not going to continue attacking there? Um, Just so you know, they will continue to attack you. But then how am I going to move anybody else out? You can. It'll just be other people entering combat for this round, for this little combat. It's do you keep okay. it one on one right now, All or right. do you want to be? Yeah, no. Let's. We'll. Yeah, let's stay here. Um. So yeah, we're gonna stay here. They're already flat footed, so they're flat footed. Like they can't. We can't do anything. I, else. I will tell you one other thing. Just as you look at the map, mm-hmm. this also does mean that if you have two of you attacking one. So if you can get Ravenel down to where they're connecting, then you can do two-on-one combats as well. So Mm -hmm. there are advantages to moving both. It's just what you want to do. Okay. I would like to move Kintargo in. Okay. Um, Or down here. I don't see. Oh. Um, I want them to go through the mountain pass. And be stealthy. Okay. And not engage in combat. All right, so roll a roll your d20 and see if you manage to be stealthy. It's a 13. You succeed? Uh, yep, that's a 13. Okay. Remember, it's DC 11 pretty much. I know. Early. I just wanted to see if I had any pluses for this one. Um, no. So, okay. So, they go you down. Do because, uh, I don't want them to engage in any way. Like, kind of want to. Okay. Be- Since you are stealthy, do you want to move again? You have a last round. Yes, I want them to be stealthy and go into the middle circle, into the forest. By, by the whisper wood? No, into the forest, just below them. Okay. Into there. Are they still being stealthy or do I need to roll again? Nope, that was... You, okay, you that stealthed was um, to... Do, however, I will say that the enemy will get a perception check at the, the beginning of the next But day. they're in the middle of a forest! Yeah, and they're fine. at Lake Sorrow! They're... Come on. Okay. <laughs> All right, that is the end of that turn. Or could I have could I have have them move, be stealthy, and then have Andoran attack? No, they they each get their three actions. Oh, I don't get three actions. So they each they get, get three, three actions. actions. Okay. I, imagine it's like you're controlling yeah. multiple party members. Yeah. No, you're good. So I'm gonna have that. Okay, the Chelaxian forces. You try and be stealthy, but they see you. No! They're able to track you there. That's rude. So, uh, with that, then they are going to... Whoops. And they man- They fail both of their attacks. The wood is too dense that you've hidden in, and they are unable to repel your forces. <laughs> okay. Um, then for my next, I would like Andran to attack. All right, go ahead. 
That's cocked. Oh, that's a hero point. That's a natural one. Okay, you're on your that's my one hero point. That's our one hero point. Guys, come on. Come on. Oh, that's an 18. Plus, they have the silver torrent with them. So it's plus one. So it's a 19. Okay. And they were flat footed. Uh huh. That is 10. That yeah. is. So it. roll a d4. So All four. Right, four points of damage. Bahaha. And then I would like to attack again. All right. Wait, do they have the second the um the attack penalty? No. Okay, good. So let's say that'd suck. That would. Oh, that is oh shoot. I don't think that's gonna hit though. That's a seven. Seven plus one. Nope, that will not hit. Okay. Okay, so um, that is two actions. Mm-hmm. What do you want for your third action? And they are flat footed for one whole round. So you get, you know, till your next, the end of your next turn for the flat footed, then it does go away. Oh, okay. So you can use your last action to once again try and yeah, get Yeah, let's do that. Let's do, let's do a recall. Or knowledge. you can hit him again. No, I don't. It's up to you. No, let's do the flat. Let's do the, let's do the recall knowledge with right. Farmer Magdalene. Ooh, it's an 18 night. So with Farmer Mag, it's 19. Okay, so with a 19, you do succeed. So you are You're able, flat-footed. Yep, they are flat-footed once again. You manage to uh, track their troop movements and know exactly where to hit and get the high ground. Nice. So that is the end of your turn, right? Yes. Okay. They now uh, are going to get to attack. They're going to try and recall knowledge and see if they can find your position to negate your... Yep. They got an 18 mm. on that. So they, you get the high ground on their main forces, but they managed to split their forces to also have one attacking you on your back to pincer move you. So you were also flat footed towards them. Lame. Okay. Uh, that so it's is, like we didn't do anything. <laughs> that's the way it goes. Ooh, and they get, they hit you and do max damage. You take four points of damage. Oh, but it's not. It's not a crit, so it's not eight. Okay. No, it is not. Good. Okay, and then they will fail their last hit. All right. So okay. you are now engaged with them on two fronts. Mm-hmm. I would like you to roll a stealth check for the Enferak, um, for Vicarius. Because he's supposed to be sneaking through, trying to get to Agorian. That is his objective. So. Wait, Agorian? So that's Where's the Agorian at? It is. Oh, there it is. Okay. I see it. Um, okay. Yep. And they have Delta with them. They do. So they have no bonus to stuff. Oh, shoot. It's a six. It's a six. They try and sneak through right here and are not... Successful. They have magic. They have magic, but that's it. So they are not, and they are engaged by the forces of Enfrak that are here fighting. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you wish to try and run? Do you wish to try and fight? What do you want to do? Can they just open a portal to hell? No. Dang it. Um, I guess we'll fight. All right. Are they using magic? Are they going to try and blast with some magic? Or try some magic first. Okay. You guys, I'm not kidding. I need some hero points. That's my second natural one. All right. Oh, it's not a one. It's a seven. Oh, okay. Eight. So nope. they go. So in. they have an eight. Yep. So Shell and uh, uh, Delta try and fling some magic, but... The signifiers that are with the Hell Knight forces manage to repel them. So they, I think they have one more action. Oh, no, that was their, their stealth and their move and then that one. However, this force is going to attack them. Wait, stealth was an action? Yeah. Oh. And unfortunately, they're going to take six points of damage from Holy this crap. force. That's not good. No, it's not. All right. What else? Okay, what do you want to do okay. with your forces? Um, 
This can move pretty. This can move pretty quick. I think. All right, we're gonna to do. See. We're gonna do Contargo. Okay. They're going to do Recall Knowledge. It's a nineteen plus C is plus one, so it's twenty. <laughs> they, they are definitely uh, flat-footed. Okay, and then so that's one action. Second action, going to attack. Natural twenty. And they have the Hell Knights uh, with them, right? So it's twenty-two. So that's twenty-two. So that is definitely a crit. Nice. Six points of Ooh. damage. And then for their final attack, they're going to attack with magic. Nope. They're going to attack with the Hell Knights. Just yep, kidding. with the Hell Knights. 14, 15, 16. That will hit again. All right. Max, come on, Max. Eh, two. So another two points of damage. Mm-hmm. All right. That took a chunk out of that force. That yes, force it did. Yep, they are going to uh let's see. They managed to hit you only once. <laughs> only doing two points of damage to Revenel. Revenel's oh, doing good. pretty good. Revenel is Revenel is like they're good. They're, and they're in. What are you gonna do? They know how to do their shiz buckets. Uh also remember right. you have the pirate forces. I do, I know. I'm kind of holding back on them. All right. I want to bring up one thing for you, though. Hmm. The pirate forces, I want you to look at where the pirate forces are. This is just because we've never, we haven't used this. this uh, they're the inner sea. Thing. Yes, they're in the inner sea. But what landmass are they right next to? Kidargo or Cheliax, I guess. Do oh, you they're closer? Bring them, do you want to bring them up and have them attack from sea? Can they? Are they yes. close enough? You can attack from oh. sea. So you're attacking this area. Okay, I just didn't think they were. They would be close enough. Yep. Well, what they can do is they can attack the shore, which will pull soldiers away. Okay. From the well, let's shore. do that then. Okay. Let's move. Let's move my soldier force or my pirate forces up into this little cove. Okay. And then they will attack the bad guys. Cannon there. barrage. Oh, that's a 19. And you managed to make them flat-footed on the last turn, right? Yeah, but they managed to make us flat-footed too. That, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't yeah, but for, for these guys, yeah. And you rolled a 19. Rolled a 19. And you and Az are with them. Yep, so it's a so plus one. that is a crit. That's a crit. So roll your d4. Ooh, four. Max damage. Was eight. eight points of damage to this force. And then they're going to attack a second time. Okay. Cannon barrage again. That is a 10, so it's 11. Plus your one. Mm-hmm. Meets beats. Good. Well, they were flat-footed, weren't they? Yep. Oh, it's true. They so were they would have been. So hit. And that's two points of damage. Two points of damage. All right. They are looking very rough. The forces are beginning to be beat down and harried. Hmm. That is You're the harried. end of that turn. Um, You're a wizard, Harry. Let's see. All right. So now it's your turn. All right, so yeah, they need to... Oh, no, they attacked you. Uh, they attacked the Andoran forces right after Andoran attacked them. And then you brought them in. You're two on one right now in that mm-hmm. fight. So that's it. So you want um, to go back to Revenel? Yes. Okay. I want to go back to Revenel. What's Revenel? Did we do? do... Did we get... Do we? Yeah, they were, they were flat-footed. Yeah. Last one, yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we are going to attack... Oh, oh, uh, so that's nine plus two, 11. That will hit. Okay. Four points. Oh, demo. And then they're going to attack again. 19 plus two, 21. They crit. Four. So eight points of damage. No, two, oh, two, oh, two, two. two, two so four. Right. Um, and then they're going to attack a third time. Okay. With a 16, 17, 18 to hit. Okay. And then Roll it. a one. A one. All right. So the, their forces are definitely looking rough. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they are going to try and attack you three times. They managed to crit once. <gasps> and I rolled minimum damage. Ha! That is two points of damage. And then, ooh, and then after that, they got max. So six points oh, of damage shoot. to Revenel. Shoot, so Revenel is now at yep. they're 20, so they're now Revenel's at 12. Revenel's currently at 12. Okay. 
Andren's at 14 and Hell Knights are at 14. Okay. All right. So uh, you've got four forces left. Uh, Hell Knights, what are they going to do? Are they going to attack or are they going to try and stealth again to get past this force? I want them to stealth again to try and get past these guys. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Come on. Who's got some channel points? Um, It's only a nine. Yeah, unfortunately. Or no, it's an eight. That will not succeed. Oh, frick. Okay. They can move. Yeah, I think you're going to have them try and move, like, out just away. So do you want to move them? Okay. Like, I kind of just want to move them away. Well, then you've got to move each away. Think of each one of these as one space. Can they, so can they, they just move, move this way? They need to move into another space. So, yeah, they can move that way. They can move that way. Okay. Does, right. the, does the army get an attack of opportunity? Yes. <laughs> does it really? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> okay. And they rolled an 18. Oh, rude. And they're doing two points of damage to the Hell Knights as they run past. All right. That is the Hell Knight's turn. So this okay. force then is going to move it's to follow. follow. Them. Yeah, I'm like, of course it's going to follow. Why wouldn't you follow? Okay, they attempted to recall knowledge and failed. Good. And then they attempted to hit and failed. Yay! I mean, not that I like the so Hell Knight. Man- yeah, but- managed to get some uh, some success there. All right. <laughs> uh, your Andran forces. All right, Andran's going to attack. Attack! It's a 15. That will hit. Alright. One. One point damage. All right. Yay! We're going to attack again. Oh, that's sad. That's a five. That does not hit. That, that's just five. Just, just six, seven. Just the seven. Does it no. Okay. And they're not flat footed anymore. Nope. Uh, let's do. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Uh, just a third attack. Okay. Ah, nineteen. Okay. Plus one is 20. That will hit. It will not crit. I know because it's 11. Two. Two points of damage. All right. Now the uh, forces, they are going to actually run. Retreat. They're going to, yeah, they're actually going to run back to the coast in a way. And they're going to attack the uh, pirates. Mm. Attack of opportunity. So I'm going to. No. For my forces against. Why? They didn't leave the spare. The space. They just turn around. Okay. So they are going to attack there and they will hit once mm. doing two points of damage to the pirate forces as they uh, manage to uh, engage more of their cannons and their uh, their spell casters are able to throw some spells out onto the water, fireballs at the pirate ships. Nice. Pirates can attack now. Okay. The pirates are going to attack. First one is, oh man, it's a three. So I think I'm going to make, one, gonna I'm gonna do make one change to this hmm. uh, because I changed the mechanic on it. It doesn't make sense. Uh, ju- it makes sense to just attack and not have it separated between magic and non. So mm-hmm. it's, if you've got two people there, it's plus two. If for the oh, okay. Revenel, it'd be a plus three. Well, that doesn't help here. It's plus five. No, but I'm just... <laughs> Realizing I built a mechanic there that I ended up working out of the system. Oh, okay. Uh, so first attack is a nil. All right. Second attack. Second attack is not a nil. It is a 16. 16 plus two. Well, so no, that that's 14 plus. When I say oh, the number, I'm gotcha. already adding the people in. All right, then. So, so three. How much damage? Three. Okay. As you attack this force... With the combination of the Andoran forces and the cannon blasts, and as sends out some uh, uh, disintegration rays, this force is abolished. Is gone! So, with the end of this combat, that combat force there, now I want you to roll 2d4s. Oh, I'm... I like, seriously had to look at my things to f- figure it out. Okay. Uh, four and a two. Four and a two. Who do you want to have the four? For what? 
This, what this is, is you are able to recruit from the, um, from the area there that you have now liberated mm. from the Kuthwaldwin's forces. There's healing to eat to your different areas. Mm. So you want two points to the pirates, which will bring them up to full. Yeah, do two points for the pirates and then four points for Andoran. All right. So Andoran gets brought up back to 18 and the pirates are brought back up to full. Nice. Okay. So now, oh wait, no. Pirates, you still have one move. Yeah. I would like for the pirates to start heading down the coast. Okay, so, so like, oh, yeah, like there. That works. All right, then. Yep. That is the end of that combat. So we uh, start top of the round, Ravenel. All right, Ravenel is going to attack with all of its awesomeness. So 12, wait, how many points is it? Is it up? There's two for the, oh, so, okay, so two, three, four. So, so it's up four. So it's 12. So I got 18, 16. Okay, that will hit. Yeah, 16. All right, that will hit. <laughs> like, why I have to think about this? Uh, it's super cocked in that corner. That's awesome. Can I pick I you up, please? It was, but it was like all cocked and squampy in the corner. I mean, we can go with four. I'm fine with four. No, if you, if you insist that it was, I mean. You no, me. you said that you saw it was a four. So if it's a four. All right, cool. So four points of damage. Four points of damage. Yep, these are, these are homebrewed rules. Joe. Homebrewed I wanted, rules. I wanted a way to do some mass combat quickly. Okay, so you uh, managed to, I want you to tell me how the Revenel forces destroy this this army. Uh, they, the, the Inferac Hell Knights that kind of know what they're doing and been together as a good force, they end up going around to the back end where the generals are that are, or the leaders of the, the combat forces are, and they take them all out. And as they do with the snake, the head of the snake, then the forces don't really know what to do and it dissolves into chaos and, and Revenel is able to just pick them off. Lots of blood. Lots of blood. <laughs> However, in uh, roll your D four uh, okay. to see who you're able to recruit. Two, two points of healing to your forces. However, here's one problem: you're attacking in the middle of a bunch of other forces. Well, in the in the middle of the forest. This force over here. There's forest. They'd have to get over the mountain pass. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they uh are managed their scouts are able to see that there's a conflict happening over here because they succeeded their perception check mm. so they ha are going to move over there and they're going to try and stealth to you rolling a two mm. so they try and sneak over the pass it you didn't happen them, you see them coming a mile away however they did manage to still strike your forces doing one point of damage okay so Ravenel takes rude I just got that point back all right, uh, Andoran, or, or Hell Knights. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Enferak. Enferak. Uh, Enferak is going to move. Over the Over, over to Angoria. Agorian, right. yes. To get to where they're trying to get to. Okay, are they going to now try and fight their way into the city, or are they going to try and stealth their way into the city? They're going to try and stealth their way right, into your, said cité. I think the Lich King might have some abilities to do stuff. That's a 17. Okay. They do manage to hide. They are now hidden. Sorry. I've got apparently some OneDrive wants me to suddenly to uh, I, I'm noticing that. Update. It's, it's never annoying. leave someone on your ass. I, I know. I know. Okay. So I, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm going to follow some, some uh, Pathfinder rules here. Okay. You are now hidden they don't know where they are where you are but they know that you're there you can roll again to try and become to where they completely have you know are like okay i don't know where they are mm -hmm. so like you know you know what i mean like they can't see you right now it's like they kind of ignore you at that point at that point they think that you just disappeared They're like what the heck maybe they went through a portal or something like that so you can do that 
Okay. Or you can attempt to strike someone or something like that. So what would you like to do? You are now stealth. Well, I I think they they need to continue to be stealthy because they've got to get into um, Isabella right. Thrun. So I want you to see, do you get in? Roll d d20. I need a hero point, you guys. I'm not kidding. That was, that was a natural one. That's your third natural one for it's the night. Technically second, because the, the one looked like a seven. That's one was a seven. I need a hero point. I need a hero point. I'm going to guilt you people into giving me a hero point. All right, so. Oh, there you go. Joe. Aha! Joe, you are the man. Right, you are the that. frog man. Roll that. Can't be worse. 13. 13. All right. Yeah. You do manage to stealth again and get into the city. Okay. That is the end. One of mission the... accomplished. Okay. This force is going to move on up. But you don't know where we are. They don't. They don't. But they're going to move up and try and find them. Moving on up. Yep. And get into the city. They do manage to find them. <gasps> but you just And that's the end of their but that's the end of their turn. They have found them and that's it. But it was stealthy stealthy. I know they did. It was and like they, double stealthy. And then they did a perception check. But they did double stealthy. Just wait. Okay. okay. So where do you want to move Andoran and what do you want to move your uh pirate forces? All right, pirate forces are gonna continue moving up the coast. Far enough away from shore that it's not awkward. Okay. Yep. At this point, though, they are in the space to engage with that force. I don't think that's fair, but okay. I will. I will allow it. <laughs> so that is your uh, your move. That's one movement. Yeah. Oh, we've got to take care of these guys first. Well, can we try and be stealthy and lose them in like I don't know, like a morning fog or something? You can try. I'll try doing that. You can certainly try. Fire the cannons! Stop blowing holes in my ship! Ooh, that's a 19. Oh. That is a 19, mother. Mother something. Mother ruckers. Okay. So you are now stealthed, which means, again, that they are flat footed if you want to attack. Uh, mm -hmm. Or on the next turn, they will have to do a perception check to try and find you. I I I'm I want to just stay stealthed. Okay, you've got one action left. You just want to stay where you're at. Can I attack them while stealthed? You can, but then they'll know where you're at. Okay, so then no, you can't attack them while stealthed. And stay stealthed. I mean, you can go stealth, attack, and then go stealth again, and you can do that. But can I do can I do a recall knowledge on them to? Yes, you can. Um, get them flat footed for their next round. Yep, you sure can. <sighs> A five. All right. Okay. That is the end of your turn. They rolled a 19 on their perception check. <laughs> a large ship on the ocean. <laughs> yes. And they do find you a large ship, a bunch of large ships on the ocean because they rolled 19 on their. Hey, here's the deal though. In the fog, if you have ever been surrounded by fog, it is so disorienting because you do not have any idea what direction is what. I would just like to say that. So you can actually get lost and be within feet of other like things yes, you can. and not know it. You so I just I'm would like to make that point. So you find them, you lose them in the fog, but then they do find you. Rude. They then try and get close enough to identify your ships, and they're able to identify you, and you are flat-footed. And then they rolled a natural one on their attack. <laughs> then they got scared because okay. they realized who it was. And Duran forces. What are you going to do? Um, I want them to move through the um, Sir Muen, Sir, Sir Muen Plains. Okay. Um, and then come down... I, I want to, okay, so I want to move here, and then I want to move them. I want them to move here, but I don't want them to engage with anybody. They're not, so this this force is here in this yeah. square. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to decide if, can can they go catty corner? Where are they trying to go? To here. Are they trying to, to go to West Oh, Crown? sorry, forget, yeah. Yeah, you can go. 
Okay, so hold on. They were here. So one action, two action. If I rolled stealth, would it still hold for the next round? Actually, I will say that that will take you. Looking at the way I drew this map, I will say that takes will take you all two. of your actions just to get there. To get oh, okay, all right. Okay, well that's it then. So are you moving? Where are you go? I mean, I'm no. I'm that was it. She they moved through the Sirmian Muin Sirmiun whatever plains, um, and then over to. The next square, and then you said that was it. No, no. If they wanted to get to to west, wait. So you were here, right? No. Were you all? The way we were there? all the way on the okay, next one. one so two. there's one, two, and then if I did a stealth to try and stealth into the next round. Okay. So go ahead and roll your stealth check. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. Uh. Ew. Who's in this group? <laughs> trying to remember who's with this group. Farmer Magdalene's with this group. Yep. Silver Torrent. So uh, it's still, it's only an eight. Nope. They okay. don't manage to be stealthy in their approach. Okay. Well, there's nobody around. <laughs> there is, n well, this force, though, is just a little bit away, and you failed your stealth roll. That's rude. So they will come upon you. They will move into your square to defend. And they will fail their two attacks. Ha 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 ha. All right. Uh, okay. Top of the round, what does Revenel do? Revenel is going to attack this little group of annoying peasants. Okay. And that is a natural 20. Oh, my goodness. So, is that uh, an automatic critical? Yeah. Okay. It is six points of damage for the first roll. Second is a 19. That will hit again. Is it a critical? I don't think they were. They weren't they, flat-footed. Were I don't they? think they were flat-footed, no. So, just D4. Now, that's the one. That one. And then for the last, we will. Yes, we will just attack again. Okay. That is cocked. That is still kind of cocked. Could we stop being cocked, please? Okay, that is not a hit. That is a three. All right, yeah. <laughs> Even with the five, that's still only an eight. <laughs> Oh. Or no, four. They have four. Additional. Their forces then attack, retaliate in their attack and fail all three. All rolls. three. I rolled a three, <laughs> a seven, and a two. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> so I want you to roll me a d20. Okay. Okay. And I want you to add two to it. Five. Okay. They are struggling to free Abigail Thrun from the magics oh, no. of this uh, mind control. No! That was one action. You have two more actions. You can set up a defense there to try and defend better against this force that's right here near you. Mm -hmm. Or you can keep trying to free her. Can we set up a defense and do yeah, another try to... Yeah, two more moves. Yeah, so can we do the defense Go and ahead. then... I want to do both of those things. All right, that's an 11. All right, so you Plus, managed... Plus, hold on, hold on. Who's with them? Oh, just Delta, so 12. All right, 12. So you managed to set up a bit of defense, which will give you a plus one to your AC for okay. this next round, and then try and free her. Come on, Abigail. Stop being... Mm. Ooh, 18. Plus two is 20. Wait, why is it plus two? Because you have the, um, I'm giving you a two on this one because you sent, because you got two Hell Knights there. Oh, yeah. And two yeah. magic users that would help free. Yeah. Specifically, Delta would be skilled at mm -hmm. mind, con uh, I'll go through type magic mm -hmm. things. She is now one degree. She is now amenable to you mm. rather than hostile. Oh, that's good. 
So you'll need to succeed one more time in the future in order to free her from the mind control. Okay. The forces now are going to try and move in. And they only managed to hit your forces once. Even with the plus one to my AC? Yeah. Okay. So they they hit with a 16 one, one of the times, doing three points of damage in total to the Hell Knight order. My head is like feeling weird. All right. Okay. That is the end there. So now we've got your forces with Anduran and the pirates. Okay. The pirates are going to attack. All right. The ship. They're going to blow some holes in the ship. That's cock. <gasps> it's a natural 20. Okay. Roll me some damage. Okay. And they're flat footed to you. Oh, that's true. Uh, so three, so six. Six points of damage. They're going to uh, do. They are flat footed to yeah. us? Okay. Oh, <laughs> from a high to a low. Well, that is like two. No, that will miss. That is like So you miss. fire off your cannons, hit them with a broadside. However, you fired all at once on full cylinders, so it turned your boat a little bit, oh. your, your ships a little bit, and <laughs> so you missed on the second shot. What do you want to do for your third shot? Oh, sun burned the fog off in like six seconds. I'm just saying... Come on. Uh, third turn is going to try to hit him again. I'm, I'm watching if it's cocked. Oh, I'm not a cheater. It's a 14. All right, that will hit. I'm not a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. But you do like pumpkin. I do like pumpkin. It's a three. All right, just a second. I got to tighten my mic here. Real quick. My husband is accusing me of cheating, you guys. You just had a lot of cock tonight. <laughs> Cocked tonight. <laughs> Jeez. That sounded inappropriate. There's a clip for you, Twitch. Oh my gosh. Like, I would love to click clip that and put it on TikTok, but that's so not on brand for us. No, oh my not. gosh. It has been cocked. A lot that was of instances really funny during this. Uh huh. I know. I understand. Right. I hear you. So it took three points of damage, uh, and that is. I have a very forceful role. Yes. That is the end of that. So Andrin, what are they doing? Wait, no. I was only two. There was only two attacks. They. Oh no, those you, three. You finished okay. yours, and then they attacked you. Yeah. Okay. So and they managed to hit once, and you took three points of damage. Okay. Okay. Now it is Andran forces. Okay. Andran is going to try and be a stealthy in their attack. Yeah, well, they didn't they succeed their stealth? No, they failed. No, they failed. Turn. All right. Oh, jeez. It's a seven. They fail. They Fine. are not stealthy. All right. They're just going to attack then. And it's a seven again. Really? Okay. Hold on. Who's with them? I should remember these things by now. Sorry, Amber Alert. Oh, okay. So with with Andoran, uh, you um, had the Silver Torrent Farmer Magdalene. Yeah, so we had three or two. Yep. So okay. Uh, okay. Wait. Did I? Did we? Did I attack? No. Nope. You recall no. knowledge. I did. I well. I tried to do stealthy, and that didn't work. And then I rolled a seven, and plus two, seven, eight, nine, and that doesn't count. No. And then this was a five. Okay, yeah, <laughs> so, so no. you you attack. It's only seven. They have entrenched themselves well, and you are not being successful in your attacks. Nope. Ravenel. Ravenel. Oh is no, wait, sorry. The forces mm -hmm. that are attacking you. Oh. Mm-hmm. They, geez, I rolled a six, a six, and a 16. Oh. So one of those will hit, doing max damage. Ow. Forces, four points of damage. Jeez. You took a big hit there. That is you, harsh. you attack and are unable, but then they suddenly send their alum enforcers, and they, are, they rain down on you. 
beating your forces down and you have to retreat a little bit okay. even in that encounter. All right. So Here Revenel. we go. Okay. Um, Revenel is going to attack. It's an 18. It's not cocked. Look. It's geez, not, it's not, it's not cocked. Not. Nope, I agree. Just feel like I'm gonna we need some cocked police over here. Jeez. Oh, uh so then D4? Three. Okay. We're gonna do a, a recall null. Wait. That was an eighteen. They're not flat footed though. I know. But this group has four additional points. So it's 22. He has two for the Hell Knights. And two for the him, like Leto and Sia. So they have Sia's, four. Sia's recall knowledge. She's not uh, the only one. But, but you said that it was three, just... Which makes it a 21, which does make it uh, 10 more than 11. So it's six points of damage. So six then? points. Okay. And then they'll attack one last... Uh, was that last time? Yeah, I think you yeah. only attacked twice, right? Or did you attack once? No, it was only once. Yeah, only once. Okay, and then this one I want to do a recall knowledge. All right. With a plus one from Sia. It's a 12. Okay. that will, you. Sia receives a vision from Phrasma of where to find the Alumin forces. She can feel their the souls crying out for help, oh. for freedom. Oh, that's sad. And then they're going to attack. Is that cocked? No. Okay, that's 17. 17. 18, 19, 20. With the, uh, with the flat foot, that's another crit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Come on, mm-hmm. roll it, roll it, get the max. Nope, that's uh, one. That's a one, so two, two points of damage. Two, ah, 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 ah. All right. The forces, ooh, arrayed against you. Uh, so they recall knowledge and succeed... And then they attack twice and hit you both times. Oh, wow. And do max damage (gasps) on both. That is eight points of damage against the Revenel forces. What does that leave them now at six? Five. Five? Ah. They are hurt. All right. So the Enfrac forces. So here's what I'm going to say. You can do a recall knowledge from uh, Delta to give you a plus one on your checks to free through and from the mind control. Okay. It's not cocked. Dang it. Hey, does anybody want to redeem a hero point? That wouldn't be a bad idea. Like, that's a possibility. Uh, that's a four. Az has a hero point. But Az isn't with them. Neither neither are you. That's true. Okay, I'm going to... Can I use Az's hero point? I'll let you use Az's hero point for this. Okay, please don't be worse. Eleven. Twelve. You just succeed. <gasps> Woohoo! Okay, so now roll, and let's see if you can free. So it's plus three. Fifteen, so seventeen, eighteen. You, as they speak with her and then use their magics, they are able to break the spell of mind control Bah-ha! that sits on Abigail Throne. Do we now have a demon force that's going to come in? And when she awakes, she is very, upset. very upset. She don't about like what has being been happening. She don't like being, being tossed around. And you suddenly <gasps> find a force. Demon forces. Of demons. <laughs> that is now there. They now have a, uh, the Infrac now have a plus two on attack. Nice. On top of Delta, so that's a plus three for that force. Okay. You have one action left. I want them to move towards... West West Crown. Okay. So you want them to leave that army that's there on their, their doorstep? Well, okay. Here's a question about that army. Is that an army that's being controlled? Is that a full, like, automaton army? Well, there's... Or there's, is it... 
There's automatons and there are Hell Knights in it. You freed just Abigail Thrun. It's not like you broke it for everybody. Yeah, but she's the queen. They serve Kuth Waldwin. All right, fine. However, because you bring that up, I will allow you to roll a d4 of healing, of recruiting from within that city f- to help the Hell Knights. Okay. Because you succeeded in a, in a way in a combat there. Three points of healing. So you're able to recruit some of the forces that were there that were loyal to her. I guess the only chance we really have is... Or not chance, but choice is to just attack the forces that are in the capital. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> it's a three. Fail. Do fail. That's 17, though. 17. So it's oh, no, you only had one action left. Oh. So then that first one. Just okay, that first that one. That first one. All right, cool. Okay. The force that is outside and arrayed against you. They will attack you, mm-hmm. doing three points of damage. So what oh. you just gained in recruits, you lost. Come on, man. Okay. So now we got our Andoran and our pirate forces. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, pirate forces are going to attack. I'm trying to remember if these guys were flat-footed or not. Um, no, they were not. All right, so instead of attacking, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with some recall knowledge. All right. It's twelve. Okay. All right. So they're flat-footed now. So we're attacking. Sixteen. Okay. Plus seventeen. Two. Eighteen. All right. So eighteen. So you uh, just oh, miss barely miss critting. Barely miss oh, critting. But awful. you attack. So roll your damage. Okay. Oh, that's one. All right, and then they're going to attack a second time. 19. That will crit. So four points of damage. Okay. And then the um, Andoran forces. Wait, before that, the pirates need to attack you. Oh. I mean, the the pirates get attacked. The the, sh- the Navy has to so attack. So they recall knowledge and 20 it. So oh, my gosh. you are gosh. definitely flat-footed. And they only get a nine on one of them. Mm. So your pirate force takes two points of damage, which your pirate force surprisingly has taken no damage. Well, it took two and then it got two back. Oh, did it? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they, they're at full capacity almost still. We're doing good. Well, that's okay. what happens when you have the heroes on. Andoran. So Andoran is going to attack the forces that are currently hanging out there with them. Okay. Are they flat-footed right now? We should have chosen a ring color for flat-footed. I'll let you do an extra roll to just find out. We'll decide. 14. Okay. They were flat-footed. Okay. I don't remember. I like it. All right. So flat-footed. We'll do this. Make it like one of like... Green. Green is flat-footed? It's flat-footed. Okay. Sounds good. Um, All right. So it's attack uh, 12. That will hit. I was going to say 21. I was like, no, that's not right. Uh, and they have one, two. They have two plus two. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I just said that was a hit. So I had to do this one. one four. That's a four. Nice. Max damage there. And then second, 15, 16, 17. That will hit. That's a one. Then third is an attack. 13. Okay. Three. Getting some good hits there. Woohoo! Okay. And that's the end of their... Thing. They're going to attempt to stealth around you. Ooh. And roll the natural one. Ooh. So they did Does not that mean that they get attacked stealth. because they tried to move past us? For no. Attack of opportunity? They're just moving around you. You're still staying in the same area. Okay. However, they still managed to hit you twice. Rude. Doing six points of damage oh! to your Andoran forces. No. Do not do these things. That's rude. All right. Okay. Revenel. All right. Revenel is going to do. 
attack attack smash smash no we're gonna do a recall knowledge all right recall knowledge with 16. Sia. Okay, Sia, the Phrasma continues to give Sia insights into the movement of forces. Nice. And the first attack is a three. And the second attack is a... Uh, oh, 11. It will hit. Good job. Good job. And that's three points damage. All right. Okay. Revenel. Can we have a quick break? Yes, we're going to take a quick five minute break because I think my player needs to go use. I just, I need a break. So we will be back and we'll see what happens here. <laughs>
All right, and we're back. 11 seconds early. So, uh, they are about to attack your Revenel forces. Yes. Okay, so... Uh, yeah. Your Revenel forces, taking six points of damage, mm. are brought to zero. No! So, he, what happens when the <laughs> Revenel forces are brought to zero? I don't know, because they have Leto and Sia and the Infrax soldiers. So... Too bad. Emphorax, soldiers, Leto, and CR are all dead. Yeah, that's not what's happening. <laughs> no. What happens is your forces are forced to retreat. So they immediately have to take one action to move back here. Okay. And then Can they take one action to like do medicine? On their on on their next round, they can spend actions to recoup their forces, heal up their wounded. Okay. And yes, try and get back in the fight. Okay, cool. So that is the end of their turn. The Hell Knights. I guess I'll hold my microphone right here because I don't want to sit up to the table. <laughs> That's right. Hell Knights now. What are they Okay, doing? they are going to attack the um, dudes. The dudes. The dudes in the city. All right. Okay. Do you, never, do you have a D20 over there? Oh, I have three. Never mind. Oh, at the start of their, their turn, I want you to roll D20 for me. 15. Okay. What? Uh, what is it? What is it? That. Abigail summons another yes. horde of demons. So is that another two? That is another two to their forces. Okay, so now we have a total of five plus, plus five. Yes. Okay. Getting to Abigail's throne was a was big a big thing. deal. All right, so they're going to attack, and I'm going to do two attacks. Okay. Because I have two D20s. All right, one is a two, and one is a 20. Okay, so, so that's, that's fine. Uh, so the two would have been a seven. All right, yeah, which doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. It's a one. Aww. So it's so only it's two. two. So that was two actions. You that was one two left. actions. A uh, third action is going to attack again. Oh, 16. All right. So that makes it a 20, uh, but they weren't flat-footed, so it's just a hit. Yeah. Three. Three points of damage. All right. Très bien. They are going to attempt to recall knowledge on you, and they man they succeed, realizing that you have Abigail through it and these other demons <laughs> attacking you. <laughs> um, however, they do manage to hit you once, Max damage. They make Whoa, four really? points of damage to you. Yes. Holy cow. I didn't realize. My my screen, I like look very far away. Yeah, you do look a bit. And the camera or the computer screen is in it. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't notice that. This is what happens when I don't look at the camera before we get started. There, that should be a little closer. There you go. Yep, that's better. Um, okay, so they attacked and you did, and you lost four points. We lost four points. points. All right, that is the. So wait, end where? Of that. What are they at right now? Uh, they're currently at five. Frick! What's Andrian at? Andrian's at eight. And Skull and Shackles. Eighteen. Okay, cool. Okay, 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 okay. Can Skull and Shackles go up the coast and up the river and attack? Who are they attacking? The other force that's with Andoran? attacking Andoran. Yes, they can. Yeah. Let's do that. However, then both of those forces can pincer you as well. Shoot. But if you destroy the other force first. Yeah. Okay, let's try that with them because we did Revenel. I will tell you this. And we're going to go to. The ships you can tell are in worse shape. Okay. The ships you are fighting are in worse shape than the Andoran, the forces, the Andoran forces are, are encountering. Okay. All right. Then we are going to do, because they were flat footed. We're going to do, okay. Yeah. We're just going to attack. All right. We're just going to attack. All right. Attacking the boats. That is a 10 plus two. Okay. So, so it's you a 12. Hit. That is one. One point of damage. And we're going to attack again. 
Woohoo! Natural 20. All right. All that damage. Uh, come on, baby. Mama needs a new pair of shoes. Oh. Was that another one? Another one. Jeez. You... I roll a lot of ones. Dude, all right. One action left. Um, And then for the third action, you're just going to keep attacking. All right. That's yeah, a three. All right. Does not manage. All right. Hit. Andrian. Oh, wait. No, the other people have to attack first. The other people do, and they uh, attempted to stealth and failed. Uh, they did manage to get one hit off on you for only one point of damage, though. Bah ha ha ha. Our ship is made of steel. All right. What does Andrian do? Andrian is going to attack. Twice. One is a 13. That's One hit. is a six. So 13, 14, 15, and then a six, seven, eight. Okay, so the first one hits. So the first one hits, the second one didn't. Yep. Even with them being flat footed. So two. Two points of damage. And then third attack is, oh, it's a two. So that's a no. That's no. That's a no. That's a no right now, there. Now, one thing I am going to tell you, mm. um, I will allow you to spend, you can spend one of your okay. actions recruiting. Mm. Okay. Each turn. So you can do that. Okay. So. Okay, they managed to recall knowledge on you, leaving you flat-footed. And then the second attack did manage to hit, but mm. doing, again, only one point of damage. Woohoo! I like that. I like that. All right. Revenel. So, you have three actions. You can use those actions to recruit. You can use all three to recruit. You can use two and then move back into combat. I want to do I want to do some recruiting and medicine. Okay, roll a uh, D four for your healing. Two. All right, so you managed to store two. And then do a second round of that. All right. Of two. Oh, another two? No, sorry. I'm sorry, just I just said that. I don't know why. All right. It's three. All right. And then Can we set up a defensive thing around where they are at the moment? All right, you're, you're going to dig in. Yeah, go roll, a little bit. Okay, just to... Oh, dang it. That's a five. All right. You failed. So you're at four hit points now. Those, no, five. Because oh. it's two and three. Oh, you're at negative one, but it goes to zero instead of negative. Yeah, true. So you're at five hit points mm -hmm. now. Okay. Okay. This force... They are actually going to uh, come over here and attack one of your demon forces. Hmm. Okay. okay. Do the demon forces have the same number of hit points? Yeah. Okay. But they don't act on their own. Mm -hmm. So they only manage to do one point of damage to them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Actually, I think the way I'm going to do this is that okay. if they manage to attack and destroy them that they demon force goes away but at the start of each turn abigail through and can try and summon okay one. um so they don't have the same number of hit points so i no, they're gonna they're gonna act like minions. just they if they one, attack they have one hit, hit. okay all right that works okay uh cool so that is the end of their turn that is the end of that army okay okay uh hell knights i think yeah so one for abigail yep so uh, that's a four. Okay. She has not managed to summon a demon army this time. Dang it. So you can now with the uh, Hell Knights, you can again, you can try and heal one, re spend one of your actions. Heal what hit points are they at right now? Five. Five. Let's do that. And we'll do one. So one round of that. Oh, shoot. It's one. Oh, no. Was it, was it three? I swear it was a one. I think it was one. I think it was a one. And when I moved it with my finger, it flipped. That's a one. I know, but when I moved it, then it looked like it was a three, and I think I flipped it with my finger when I was moving. Re roll. It I don't like. I don't like like. Questions. Okay, there this we time go. was a three. Fate had decided. Fate. So you get regain three hit points. All Apparently, right, need your to first remake action. these. The felt is grabbing it. Mm. Um. Okay, and then so that's this is my first action. Yep. Second. So, so yeah, yeah. Two actions left. So second and third actions are going to be attacking. Jeez, this dice does not like me tonight. Uh, three and a 16. Okay, so the 16 will hit. Three hit points. 
Okay. Of Demolage, and that's it for them. Okay. They attack you three times, rolling a four and two natural ones. Ooh, I like that. So, all right. Um, oh. I mean, I like that for other people, universe. Not I like that for me. <laughs> they are no longer flat-footed because you didn't flat foot them. Oh, all yeah, right. they're not anymore. So, now you have your pirates. Okay, pirates. Attack. We're going to take one recall knowledge. It's 19. Okay, succeed. And then we're going to do two attacks. That's 15. Okay. So. And a five. Real quick, roll your, for that first one is a 15. Roll your attack damage. Three. Okay. You only do sink? one attack against them because you sink. Sinks. Their ship. Into the ocean. So you now have one action. And you can use that action to support your Anduran by attacking their... Um, yeah, let's their do force. that. I'm going to do that. I like this little baby dice because I can do that. Ooh, 17. 17. 18, 19. Okay. Oh, they're well, not flat-footed anymore. Dang it. No, they're not. Four. Four points of damage. You, delete, you destroy that force. What? Those cannonballs just come in and eviscerate these people. Good. Those forces are now both down. All right. Having having to beat a force. Yes. They can both have a free both heal. Both have a free heal. Two fours. Nice. Okay. So basically the ship's back up all the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually. <clears throat> Don't mess with my ship. You get wrecked. Okay. Ah, I get it. Get it. Yeah, Don't mess with my ship. You get wrecked. Yeah, it's funny. Okay. What does Revenel do? Uh, Revenel. Do you want to spend another action? We're going to do heal another. Up? Yeah. We're going to do another action. Healing. Healing and recruiting. Ugh, it's one. Get a different hate D4. hate these D4s. That's just D. I have a one in four chance every single time I roll, babe, to get a one. I know, but you get a more than that. I get a lot of ones. It's true. D4. Take a different D4. Where did it go? It's by your elbow. Oh, there it is. Like, where the frick did it go? Okay, so you uh, okay, so you one, got one. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we're going to go back into battle. Okay. Bing! And we're going to get the machine that goes bing! Yep, so you got one action left. All right, we're going to attack. Come on, nat 20. That's not a natural 20. It's a natural two. Uber Geek Media just raided with Party of... Hey, Party. Uber Geek! Guess what? We need hero points! <laughs> so we are in the middle of a uh, uh, mm. mass combat. So this is a war game that we got going on. Haley has four different forces that are attacking the Chalaxian military mm -hmm. uh, at different fronts. And they're doing... They're struggling, but doing fairly well. We're doing uh, Reven okay. Revenel's but... struggling the most. And this is a home-brewed, large military combat rule set that Weston... <laughs> oh, that's so gross. There are band-aids stuck to the bottom of your soda. <laughs> where did band-aids come from? I guarantee you that's from where Gabriel scraped his knee. And he took them off when he was in here. <laughs> Parenthood. You guys, so having kids is one of the funniest roller coaster rides. Um, anyway, yeah, but yeah, we're we're doing some attacking and fighting and stuff like that. And um, Haley's re rolled a ton of natural ones tonight. So if you feel so inclined to redeem some hero points, yes, that'd be great. Okay, so uh, okay, uh, you had attacked. So that was the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. So they attack you. Uh, managing to do five points of damage. You are at one. Oh, shoot. But you're still kicking. They, they have not been brought down. They are, they are still kicking. All right. What does uh, the Hell Knights? So see if you can summon another uh, horde of demons. <laughs> Hi, diddly doodly neighbors. Yeah, diddly Hello. Diddly. Um, okay. Come on, Abigail. Stop using that. Can voice. Abigail Thrun summon another force of demons? Nope. Okay. That was a two. That was a two. Haley's in need of some hero points there. 
I am. My my rolling my dice are not. You guys, I it's really interesting because I play I play at least once a week normally, either this game or Vampire the Masquerade, and my dice my rolling never gets better. No, it doesn't. Like pretty she's not, consistently. She's not. Um, I'm not Will Wheaton, Will Wheaton level, Wheaton, but. But like I like I roll badly, really consistently. It's, it's kind you, of annoying. You either roll really badly or insanely. It's awesome. like stupid. Well, where yeah. it's like seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. It's like multiple turns. Okay. Anyway, uh, okay. So well, that didn't work. So we're just gonna we're gonna do a. Are you gonna attack? Are you gonna try to recruit more forces and heal up? How many points are they at right now? They're at eight. Yeah, we're gonna do one round of. Recruitment, it's two, so we're at 10 now, and then one attack, which is a 12. That will hit. 13, 14, 15, so 15. Yep, yeah. that'll hit. Three. All right, you've got one more action. Because remember, the Abigail threw in is a free one. I give you Abigail's action, not the Hell Knight's action. Oh, okay. Okay, so you got that that was three points of damage to them? Yep, I did. Okay. So we'll do one final attack. You fail. Jay's a natural one. All right. Now, here's my question for you. What are you going to do with your Andoran forces? I'm sorry, but you suck tonight. Um, they're going to go to the capital. Okay. Do you want to attack that army? Yes, I do. Okay. I... They are now flanked. Yeah, I was about to say, can we... They're flat-footed. They're flat-footed from being flanked now. Bow, bow. So they're going to attack twice. 16 and a 10. So with those ads... They both they, hit. Yep, they do. They both hit. Nice. Roll 2d4. 4, 5, 6. 6, six points, points. damage. All right. What um the uh, force there is going to now attack... Um, the Hell Knights, they fail. They're going to turn around and try and attack the Andoran force. It's a one. <laughs> and they'll attack the Andoran force a second time for a 19. So that, that one not will nice. hit. But they're not flat-footed, so it does three points of damage to Andoran. Okay. All right. What are your pirates going to do? Pirates are going to continue moving down the coast stealthily. So a roll for stealth. That's cocked. Oh, my gosh. It's a two. Okay. They're not stealthy at all. Nope. Because they're not stealthy, they pull the West Crown military forces no! as well as the ships That's here. what I was trying to prevent. <sighs> so they both will be Hey, if anybody you. feels so inclined, you can give me a hero point. So, so let's I can see what happens. That. So they are going to uh, <laughs> first... Uh, each force is going to try and recall knowledge you, and they fail. Both okay. Of them. Then they're going to attack. Oh, you got nat 20 And you got hit. So. Shoot. First one, I rolled a one on the nat 20. So that's Kay. two points of damage. But then max damage on the second one. Well, at least it so wasn't the first one. So six points of damage to your pirates. Okay. That's fine. That only takes them down to like 12. And then the other force, they've got two hits on you. One of them hits. Doing another one point of damage. So you got brought down uh, seven points of damage on that round. Frick. Okay. Revenel, you have one hit point. Jeez. All right. We're going to do all three. Can I? Can we do all three? Of what? Of the turns. To um, do what? To, to heal and yep, to recruit. Can. Okay. So roll three d4s. Oh, that's not bad. Four, three, two, nine. It's nine points of healing. Okay. Mm -hmm. They have healed nine points. So they're now at 10? <laughs> yeah, actually. Okay. <laughs> oh, they man. managed to, the force there managed to recall knowledge on you, so you are now flat footed. Um, and they, but they only managed to hit once for only two points of damage. Okay. So you are, now you went from one to eight. That's still a good trade-off there okay mm -hmm. uh hell knight army let's see if they can summon can abigail through come and summon on another abby thing of demons come on abigail that's a natural one wow 
Wow. Okay. I mean, we're getting to the level that like I haven't been keeping track of them, but we're getting to a level where I feel like I've rolled as many natural ones as you did that one day where you had 13 you, you natural You haven't you just ones. rolled a lot of ones on your D4s. Yeah, that's true too. All right. So Hell Knight Army, they still have the one uh, okay. demon force that's giving them the plus two. They're going to do a, are, are they still flat footed, the demon army? Yep. Or not the demon army though. Yeah, well, yeah, because they're flanked. Okay, I'm going to put that they're green. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, then we are going to do all three attacks. Well, do it one at a time. Seven. Natural one. Did you miss all Six. three? You missed all three well, attacks. Well, technically wait, wait, it's plus three. The one you added is seven. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, wait, wait. So the first one, it hits. Seven, so seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a ten. Okay. okay, so, so the first start, one hits. Let's start with that one. Roll your damage. Four. Okay. You take out the force. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> so you, you started out always adding your stuff, and now you stopped. And now I stopped. Stuff. I know. Well, it's because the numbers got bigger. <laughs> okay. You okay, so okay, so then... You have the hell two actions left. The forces, then. Oh, you took out an army. Which oh. means both Anduran and the Hell Knights get to heal some. Okay. Four and three. Four who who is ever the lower of okay. the two. And then obviously three for the other one. Um, okay, so that was only one action though. Yep, so it was one. So for the Hell, the Hell Knight. So I want the Hell Knight forces to come down south to the to West Crown. All right, are you being stealthy? Sure. Okay, then roll for one of your moves to be stealth. So 13. Okay, they are stealthy. Okay. They do not uh, realize that they have moved down there. Okay, cool. So. That would be the end of their turn then. Oh, one yeah. One action to stealth, uh, to attack, one action one to, to stealth, stealth, and one action to move. Okay, so then. Andoran. Andoran is going to also move and also stealth. That's an eight for stealth, so that's not going to do anything. That's okay, so be... they grab the attention of this military force then, who will focus on them instead of your pirates. Okay. Wait, are they not flat-footed anymore? I'll still say they're flat-footed because they've got, they're circled on three sides. Okay. Uh, so it's one. So th they technically have. I should have flat-footed you on their pirate ship. Oh, yeah. I mean, they can st she they can still be flat footed. Okay, um, but that was She's only two actions. The hero point. So that was a thank you so much. Yeah. Andoran's used yeah. Andoran's used two actions. You'll be amazing. They're gonna attack again. The nine, ten, eleven. Okay. With an eleven, eleven hits right. Yep. Four. Four. My nice. Nice. Do you want to take it? And then Four points of damage there to the West Crown forces. Mm hmm. And then skulls and shackles. We're going to do a recall knowledge. It's 13. All right. That will succeed. succeed. So these guys are now flat footed too. Mm hmm. And then both actions next are going to be attacks. Two fives. You have a hero point. Seasonal I'll re-roll one of them. I'll re-roll one of them. It's cocks. <laughs> Did you roll another five? No, it's six. <laughs> it's for a total of six, eight. Seven, eight. You only needed one more. One more. more. <laughs> Oh, all right, wow. so you do not manage to hit them at all. You uh, you have not managed to hit that boat yet. I haven't. So, hey, but they're flat-footed now, so that's good. Everybody's flat-footed at this point. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, okay, so the uh, forces... Ooh. The, M the West Crown forces are going to attack Andoran. Oh, dear. Uh, and they succeed at the recall knowledge check. Okay. And then hit once and critted once. 
<sighs> so two on the first, two on the second. So six points of damage to Andoran's forces. Where are we at right now? You're down to six. They, your, your army is definitely looking rough. Let's see what happens to the ships attacking you. They attempt to, uh, you're already flat-footed, so they attack. They hit on the second one, and they hit on the third one, doing three points of damage to your pirates. Okay. You're still at 10 hit points there. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right. Revenel. Okay. What are you going to do, Revenel? Revenel, we are attacking... Because we're at eight, we're at eight points right now. So we're gonna attack. Yep. You just gonna attack three times, or no? We're gonna do recall knowledge once. All right. With twelve. Okay. Okay. Yes. You. And then we're gonna attack twice. All right. Six and eleven. The eleven will hit. Yep. The eleven will. Wait. Six, seven, eight, no. nine. Because they have Leto and the and the and Hell Knights, so they have a three. plus three, mm-hmm. and they're flat footed. Nine and 14. So they will hit on both of those. Nice. Nice, nice. Nice, nice, baby. So roll your D4s. <laughs> one. No, it's a one and a two. One and a two. So three points. No, three. Down. All right. Three. Ah, ah, ah. There you go. Oh, we so. have to put that they're flat-footed. Okay. They attacked back, and they only managed to hit you once for two points of damage. Oh, good. So you are at six now. Okay. Hell Knights, can uh, the Abigail Are we... We're not, uh, not in the capital anymore. Can Will she still do that, though? Yep, she'll still okay. do that. That's a natural one. Where are these... Why are you rolling mini dice? Because they're fun. Okay. I have gotten natural ones on all three of those dice. I not, well, and every single time you've rolled for three, except for your first one. My first two. Well, the first one I didn't even make you roll. I just gave you. It's the second time I had you roll, and mm. you've, you've only succeeded once at it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All she right. Does not manage to summon a demon army. Okay. Well, they're just gonna attack three times. Okay. The force that ha- is. Um, Pincered? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. First is a 12. Second hit. is an 8. Third hit. is a 5. That's not a hit. Two the of them will one. hit. Mm-hmm. A two and a three, so five. Five points of damage. All right. I will let Andoran go because they got him pincered, so I'll let Andoran go too right now. Okay. They're just going to do three attacks. First is cocked. Ooh, second is an 18. Oh, sorry. That's one. With your bonuses? No. With my bonuses, it's 20. Because they only have two. Okay. All right. So hit. Oh, no. Crit. And then (laughs) eight. Okay. But they're flat footed. I know. But it's six plus two. Oh, eight. You got. It. Sorry, I'll tell you. I'll I'll eight. tell you. Six plus two is eight. Okay, so you critted on one of them. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and do your crit damage. Ooh, it's a four. So eight, eight points of damage. Nice, big nice. hit there. Okay. Um, and that that was was that all three? Yeah, that was all three. Okay, they are gonna attack you back, uh, and they only managed to hit once, and they're gonna hit the Hell Knights for four points of damage. <sighs> They're really rude. Okay. I've decided. Uh, the sh- skull and shackles. Your Kay. pirates. Uh, my amazing pirate ship of shipping pirates. They go around and they ship things they um, like like Draco and Ginny. Now, I do want to let you know. I mean, you can triple up that one army if you want to. I know. I'm trying to decide which direction to attack first. Yep. Um, so I think we're going to attack the Southerners first. Yep. That's a three. That will fail. Um, then we're going to turn around and attack the Northerners. Yep. That's also a three. <laughs> hey, you got to rub it. This is like, I really. 
really should start. So I had a friend when I first points for her. Jeez. When I first started, when we first started streaming, and I started to become more a part of the community, there was this person that I was friends with that would put all of her D20s in her bra because she was convinced that that made them always roll really well. And then Weston started rubbing them against his chest and started rolling really well. And so what is it? Natural 20. I freaking hate you. <laughs> and it doesn't work for me, you guys. Like I can do I can do the rub against it was the a, chakra thing. It was a three. Oh, was it? Okay. <laughs> it's a three. This is serious? This is this is that bad. Is funny. This so is, you miss all three game. hits. This is a bad game. Your, and they were all virus. threes. Yeah. They were all threes. Wow. All three of I them were threes. I think that's a sign of Armageddon. <laughs> okay. It'd be really funny if it was 666, though. Like, that would have been hilarious. <laughs> uh, however, they attack you three times and don't hit. Yes. Five, a six, five, and a ten. Wow. Nice. Oh, wait. I'm flat-footed, though. Up, oh, you're right. One of them do hit. Well, the shackles are... Is that who they're yeah, attacking? That's who they're attacking. Yeah. They're, shackles so that take one four hits. points of damage. Oh, that's You are really in single mean. digits for all three of your forces. Oh, okay. So starting again at Revenel. Yep. All right. These We're not all flat-footed again, are we? Like, we're, uh, we're totally not, yeah, through. Yeah, Revenel's not flat-footed. Yeah, we're totally through all of that. Um, okay, we're going to do two rounds of recruiting and healing. Two. All right. Ooh, a four and a two. So six. Six points of healing. And then we're going to do one attack, which is a four. Okay. A five, six, seven. So it's a seven. Yeah. Uh, okay. Funny thing. They attack you three times. Fail every single one. Yay! You're getting ahead there. This group is like barely hanging on, man. Yes, they are. <laughs> However, I... I um, okay, so Hell Knights. Does Thrun get some demons? Come on. Come on, guys. Give her a hero Come point to use it for this hero, uh, summoning demons. This has been rough. You do realize that if we uh, if we switched to a non-streaming, there would be no more hip. hip uh, I guess I'd start needing to give you gift you once. It's a nine. But didn't I say you'd get a plus two? No, that was on mm -mm. a different. Okay. Not for this she one. Doesn't, yeah, she does not summon a... Got any hero points there, guys? <laughs> no. Apparently, Kay. everyone is AFK right now, away from so. keyboard. Yeah, away from keyboard. All right, so you do not manage to summon any more demon forces to your aid. Wow, every turn. You could have had like a plus eight on your... Forces. No, no, I couldn't because that's not what I'm rolling. All right, all three are going to attack. Do them one at a time. Go yeah, on. that's what I'm doing. Three. So five. Is that cocked? Can you stop dropping them? It's a six. Because I've noticed since you started dropping them, you've gotten worse. That's an 18. Okay. That is a hit. Actually, that's a crit. Nice. Because they're flat-footed. Mm -hmm. roll, your, roll your attack. It's a one. Yeah. So two points of damage. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Uh... Are they going to attack now or are we doing? Oh, no, they're going at the same time as is. OK, um, so that was just that was your first attack with the Hell Knights. You have two actions left. No, that was all three. I attacked all three and I missed twice and I hit once. OK, uh, Andren. 13, that hit. OK, roll your damage. 20, that hits. OK, roll, roll your damage because it doesn't matter. Two. OK. Oh, they can one. I hold on to this natural 20? Yes, you can. Okay, thank they you. had one hit point left. Okay. They're awesome. gone. Oh, shoot. But the natural 20 doesn't mean anything because they're not in striking distance to anyone. Well, can they go over to, can they go over to Kintargo to Ravenel's forces? One action to move. And, and, and I'll let you keep that. I'll let you keep that. Roll. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. And then, so that's an attack. Roll your damage. Three. Three points of so damage. Six. No, it's six. Yeah, I know. So six points of six. damage. Yes. 
All right. And then that was, that was two actions. So then the third. No, it was one action. You you attacked once, moved, and then. Oh, attacked. true, true, true. Okay. Do me a favor. Roll me a d20. Let me know what it is. It's 12. 12, okay. Or if you look at it this way, this also kind of looks like a 21. All right. If you if the roll had failed, then that force would have lost heart and ran away. Oh. They did not lose heart. Okay. 12 was not high enough. They had to fail the roll. Okay. Oh. Uh, skull and shackles. You are not flat footed anymore. Nope. Yay. Um, but neither are they. Yeah, but neither are they. Okay, let's do recall knowledge. Yep. Try and s- get them 12. For yep. recall knowledge. That will succeed. They are flat footed. Then we're going to attack. Why do they hate me so much? Wow, really? It's a seven. Okay. Uh, eight, nine. Wait. That's that hits, actually. Yeah. That hits. They're flat footed. Ha ha. Three points. Okay. And then... Attack one more time. One more time. Fifteen. Okay. Sixteen, seventeen. That will hit. Two. Two points of damage. There we go. Start. You finally hit them. Finally. I finally hit them. (laughs) Okay. They managed (laughs) to hit you once. Doing two points of damage to your pirate. And just so you know, uh, I can't one, recruit with the ship. You can't recruit with the ship. I can't recruit, can't with, the recruit with the ship. Can we heal with the ship, though? You can use as to heal. No! Seasonal Bard, stop Thank it! Thank you. No! No, 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 no. So, Revenel. <sighs> so, one thing I'm going to do here I'm going to roll twice, and I'm going to use my villain point. Yes. These guys now recognize. You've made enough noise that they're coming for you. The other two forces that are there. You know, you do realize that there's like massive amounts of space in each of these areas. Yeah, and they scout those areas. Okay, Revenel, what are you going to do? Currently at 12 hit points. Which is good. 12 is is better than one. Which we were at before. Actually, good. They're going to... Attack. All right, but both. they're the the dude is the the one group is still flat footed yep, though for this round through the end of this round, right? Well, and they're flat footed from being flanked. Oh, that's true. Okay, so we're gonna roll. It's a fourteen. Okay, roll your damage. One. Second attack. Haley. What? You destroy that force. Ha ha! In your face. In your face. And then, okay. You do have this force here that, no, that, that is, you know, in your square. Yeah. They're in, re- they're in distance for attack. My brain has a hard time because I worked on this, a map so long that like, I know what those distances are. So I'm having a very difficult time with that. You also have that. to remember the, the distance that armies cover. I know, I know, especially I know. I'm just saying, have, like, especially when you have spellcasters that can cast stuff 120 feet. I know. I'm just saying. Um. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna attack something. What are right. we gonna attack? So you can stay here. So or you wait, can move I'm down. just. Does she? Did, was that all three? Points. Attack uh, once. I only attacked once. Yeah. Yeah, you only attacked once. You have two. Okay, so left. then I wanna att- I wanna attack the other guys then. All right. Okay. To 19. Oh, nice. nice. With their points, that's a 22. All right. So I'm going to say one thing. Um, I'm making a decision real quick here. It's getting attacked two to one. So I'm going to say that it is flat footed. Oh, well, I mean, it was a crit no matter what. Oh, it was natural 20? No, because it's 19, and then they have a plus three. Oh. The Revenel forces have a plus okay, three. Okay, so that you hadn't added your stuff yet. Okay, go ahead and hit it. When? So two. Two. Okay, and what action left? Do I heal up? 
Do you want to attack? No, I mean they're Run? okay. They're at like twelve. Do you want to dog pile? Let's West let's Crown? let's. No, well they already took out those forces at West Crown. I've got this other one that moved in, but okay. Let's let's just take out the ones that are still. I'll attack the same force. All right. With a uh, seven. That one. Uh, yeah, it's a seven. <laughs> well, no, that would hit. Four they're, plus seven. They're flat. They're flat footed. Is nine yep. though, right? Yeah. So four plus three is seven. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, you added it. All right. Yeah. So you're right. You miss. Yeah. Okay. Hell knights. See if they can summon some more demons. All right. Come on. Come on. Nope. Did you roll another natural one? Natural one. You have rolled a natural one on that roll. Uh, pretty oh, much like, every time. Not every time, like, but like insane. a lot. All right. So she, she's just tired. She's just out yeah, of juice. Apparently Abigail Thrun is not in she her is right mind. She's out of juice. All right. She is. Okay. We're attacking now. The yep. guy's next to us. An eight and an eleven. The eleven will hit. Okay. That's with the added points. Yep. Four. Hey, max damage though. Woo! Okay. So I'm going to give I wanna ask the player one thing right now. Wait, was that only two? There was only two actions. Oh, okay, then attack one more time. 18. Okay, another... 19, uh, 20, 21. Crit. What's up? Come on, roll another four. Oh, my God. Another one. So two points Freaking ones. I hate these. You always roll ones on your crit. On, I know. Like the last three crits. It freaking sucks. However, the force attacked you, rolled a six, a one, and a three. Oh, well, I mean, that's nice. So um, you've got... Okay, you're pirates. Arr. What are you going to do? Grr. Arg. Um, we are going to... Do you to want to uh, have As spend a, a turn healing up the pirates? I'm kind of thinking we're going to need that. I'm trying to decide if it's one or two. What do you think? One or two? You're looking really rough. Okay, we'll do two. Okay, roll two D4s. Two twos. So four so points. So four points. And then we'll do an attack. All right. Done 11, 12, 13. Okay, that will hit. Two. Twos. I'm really into twos right now. All right. Two, two. Ooh, Joe DeFrogman. Joe DeFrogman. Our little thing is not making ding dings. No, it's not. It's just strange. Um, I might have the audio off on it. Oh, it might not be making ding dings in our ears. Oh, it set. might not be. So two. We Joe DeFrogman did two. Exactly. All right. Two hero points. Two hero points. Okay. Um, but that's the end for that. Yes. But did Andrian go ever? Yes, they did. Yeah, they went. Okay. okay. So let's see what they do. So recall knowledge. Fail. I mean, this Attack, is if you think fail. about it. Like this is a pretty hit dang you once. good. This is a pretty dang good like military. Might. Yep, they have, they have, okay, you got hit for another three points of damage. You are down to three. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Did you actually heal up? Yeah, Any? How four. much did you heal four? I don't think it actually added it to you. Of the pirates? Yeah. Yeah, four. Oh, I just marked off the wrong force. Uh, give me a second. Oh. This combat is brought to you by Owlbear. We use Owlbear on our digital maps. And for our physical terrain, we use Terrain-O. You if you follow us on social medias, you can see pictures of our terrain yes, that you can. we build. All right. So, uh, okay. So, they managed to hit you once. Revenel. What, what are they do? at right now? Are they 12? Yep. Okay. They're going to go full freaking in your face. Um, is do that it. is that... They're not flat-footed anymore. They're not. Okay. So first we're going to send out. I will, out, I will we're gonna allow send you out. to say you just kind of move your forces around because you both attacked. Yeah, we did. So I'm going to say you guys did this because you're <gasps> military wise Can I enough. keep that? It was an 18. Yeah, sure. 18 to attack. 
So they are flat footed. Okay. So plus that's an 18 rolled. 18 rolled. So, crit. so three. Yeah. So that's a crit. Okay. Do your damage. Roll that one. Two. So there's four. Oh. I know. Okay. And then, oh, no, that doesn't count. Okay. 10. 13. Okay. That will hit. Four. I'm just going to yell out random numbers. <laughs> Did you have one more attack, I think? Uh huh. One more. 17! 18, 19, 20. That will be another crit. What's up? This is more like it. Two, four. Okay, four points. <laughs> Lots of fours there. Okay, uh, Andoran. Okay, Andoran is going to do the same thing. All three. <laughs> Miss. I think you're going to have to go back and watch this. And, and count the, count number, of the number of ones so that's that I one. got. That's a natural one. 15, 16, 17. Okay, that will hit. 16, 17, 17. Yeah. All right, roll your damage. Three. Three points of damage. 12, 30, 14. Roll your damage. Four. That army. Did they get killed? They got obliterated. They got obliterated. This they got so obliterated, there's no O anymore, okay. and it's just obliterated. Okay, Hell Knights, does Abigail threw in summon demons for you? Okay, you have two I do have two, points. but you I can only use one. You can only use one. Okay, 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 come on. Succeed, succeed. Come on. Not 20, and I'll give you two sets of them. <laughs> what, are you starting to get bored with this? No. Did you not 20? Oh my gosh, it's a natural 20. I knew if I did that, it would happen. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, do you ever sometimes feel like the dice listen to you? Like, why do you think I did that? <laughs> I like, I fake. literally like. There are times, and I've seen enough live shows at this point that I'm like, I swear that they can hear us when it's really important roles. So, Abigail Thrun approaches the area uh, in West Crown where she before opened up a portal to hell previously and opens it up again. <laughs> pouring out these demons. You now have a plus seven. seven. What's up? Attack the force. Okay. Attack with the force. This is going to be like crits for days. Okay, so five plus seven. You hit. I hit. Yay. <laughs> that is a four. <laughs> plus seven. You hit. Oh, uh, yay. Good job. Natural 20. Okay, there we go. So roll me some damage, though. Okay, so I have three two, hits. And the, the two of them are normal hits, okay. and then one's a crit. Do these two normal. So four okay. for the normal. And then your crit. And then six for the crit. All right. Managed to do some good damage to them, but surprisingly didn't obliterate it in one hit. I know, because apparently... I'm awesome. <laughs> Shackle and skulls. So your pirate fleet. What are you going to oh, do? Oh, wait. Oh, no. I should have. I forgot. I still have those two hero points. I could have re-rolled two of those. Dang it. Um, pirate ship. Skull and shekels. What are they at right now? Help. Five. Five. Right. Okay. Az is going to do some emergency triage. Okay. It's four. Okay, there we go. And then for the final round. Oh, did you, was that two? That was two. Okay. It's 14. Well, it was kind of cocked. 14 to hit? Do All right. It, it was kind That's of cocked. Fine. Okay. Okay, you hit. So do some 14, damage. 14, 15, 16. There we go. That's three damage. And that's it for them. Three damage. Okay. Back up to Revenel and Andoran. What are you going to have them do? They're going to come down and surround. So, okay. Oh, frick. They can't get to that other side. Yeah, just surround this guy. So now he's really flat-footed. Really flat-footed. Re <laughs> You're really, really flat-footed. Okay, Revenel, you want to attack? Uh, yeah. So they both have two left. Yep. Okay. So Revenel is going to attack first with a 16. That will hit. Roll your damage. And a natural 20. Uh, so apparently my ones are like now coming back as twenties. That's awesome. Go. So the sixteen plus three, nineteen. So roll your damage. Well, I'm just 
Is that a crit? Yeah. Okay. So we've got two crits. Two and four. So six. So six points with the crits multiplied already? Yeah. Two Ten. and a one. So then it's a two and a four. All right. That force is obliterated. You now... Okay, but the problem do is... Do we surround West Crown now? You do, but unfortunately your strike force is still engaged. I know! Can they attack from the shore? So are do you going to try... Do we are have gonna, like, ballistas and stuff? Are you going to spend an action stuff? to run? Like off the ship? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You run here off the ship, leaving your ships at the shore there. I'm going to trust that the pirate queen knows how to fight. This force will move up, but they now have to kind of attack everybody. Yeah, good luck with that. So here's what I want you to do. Roll me six attacks. Okay, <laughs> here we go. 14. Oh, that's caught. Hit. 17 and 20. All right. You are managed with all of your forces there as their Navy tries to come up and retake West Crown. You manage to just obliterate that Navy that is there. Why, Bow? And you have now succeeded. So you now have the brought all your forces. The only Isgar is the only <laughs> they have forces there. They were like, no, we are not getting involved in this. We are staying here. Well, you got to remember, Isgar is technically its own country, even mm -hmm. though it is very closely tied. Yeah. But you managed to go around them and just, avoid that. I'm just saying they're, they're, they're just kind of like, you know, I think they can fight their own battles. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, I mean, get back to switch screens here. And I still have two hero points. You do. You have now surrounded. So as your ship, uh, as you ride the ship and the, the pirate captain is screaming and yelling uh, and cursing at you and as and cursing the supreme elect and cursing everyone for le hurting her ships. Stop blowing holes in my ship. Yep. Uh, as you rush towards the shore to try and escape this naval force. But then as you approach West Crown, you there see demons flying over this, the city area. You see the forces there uh, have taken the city around it, but you have not taken the island. So here, let me real quick, I'm gonna switch a screen. And we're gonna take a look at West Crown. Mm. Don't think I had this quite set up here. So give me one second. Our combat today is brought to you. I'm just kidding. It is the Christmas season, however. And if you are looking for any nerdy style gifts, if you would be interested in nerdy style gifts, I currently have an Etsy shop. She does. And the best seller right now is not a D&D <laughs> style thing it is my fallout nuka cola um thing which is super cute it's a it's a nuka cola bottle cap that i make like i hand make them and they're super fun and they're like a little hook and i'm trying to find the, the website so that you guys can go look but if you want to it's super fun i love making these kinds of things it's a lot of fun for me to just like there sit down are. and craft so and I can't find the link to my store. <laughs> you manage to get to West Crown. So, Haley, uh, if actually you want to look at the screen, so here is what West Crown looks like. And you have managed to take this shore and this shore. You have your, your um, Andran forces here, your um, Hell Knights and Revenel forces have taken this side as well. Your ships having landed over here. And you have now taken all of those. As you get off of your ships, uh, you are greeted there by Stella and the Domina and Sia St uh, at the shore as you come. 
and as you walk, uh, run off the gangplank because there's still ships coming out, you know, coming mm-hmm. to start, and there's cannon fire as you land. Uh, Sia runs up to you and just embraces you, uh, and just like, oh, good, that got kind of scary at times. I... We, we had to run away one time, like. F- fully like run I, I understand we we were not in a particularly good space either are you okay though yeah yeah i'm i i was i was with the the domino the whole time and i i helped her for us but sent a lot of dreams this time good good uh did you pass out like you have in the past or no you um, no no i was just it was dreams less i, I she didn't let me get involved in the healing okay um Good. She she kept me out of that. Good. So yeah. I mean I mean I understand that's hard for you, but like good. I'm well. We had a lot of other people helping, and we kept f- trying to get new people to join the fight. And we managed to fr- free some people from a a prison, um, and for we're some workshop battle music. That's true. We are. If you, I mean, we can s- continue to listen to battle music. I just. You should like It's animals. weird for me to hear like random animals growling while I'm talking to my little sister. <laughs> anyway, I found the link finally, so I dropped it in the chat if anybody wants to go over and look at my my thing. I have like tabletop stuff too, like fun cute little letters, but So, you have now managed to oh, Come on. It's not playing music. I didn't want it to and it won't stop. Won't stop. The technology won't stop. No, like I've clicked that it's not supposed to be playing this, and yet it's still it playing. Just it continues to play. I don't. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. Ah. However. There we go. That's not what I want. There we go. It sounds more like emotional music. So you come off the ship. You managed to see. Um, I'm sorry. You, so yeah, yeah. So I've talked to Sia and. And Stella oh, comes up uh, and, oh, she's like, oh, good, you're, that ship looks beat up. I know. I know. Trust me, the, 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 the pirate captain is not happy. She kept yelling things at us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, we, we our, our fight was, was rough. Um, but she turns around. They got to throne. Good. And you turn around and you see, again, Arrayed amongst the forces are demons and dev- more devils uh, walking around in certain things with Hell Knight signifiers there uh, in certain areas. Wool we'll makes strange bedfellows. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, isn't this what Emfrak was meant to be able to, to help do? Yes, um, I just odd. To see it, and the do- uh, at this the Domina uh, with Domina Caltero uh, by her side just walk up. Well, you made it. We did. Unfortunately, it looks like we beat you here. We expected you to be I, here before us. We got caught at sea, ah, yes. so that was not exactly something we were expecting. Well, we we managed to take the city, but we uh, have not been able to get to the island. There's still a wizard to be taken care of. Yes. Well, yes. Uh, what he is, we're... There have been strange things here in the city. Um, what do you mean? Strange creatures. Um, quite a few of those that all seem to share faces. Oh, the... the Changeling-ish yes, um, like things from before. Yes, they were. <sighs> it was strange. How can you tell it's them? <sighs> when you find five people all with the same face. Oh, well, yeah, that's pretty obvious. That's going to make things strange. Um, But we... <sighs> Come, we must discuss... Uh, There is a uh, council tent that we have set up in the middle of the camp. Please come. Right. And so then she leads you through the camp. And you can tell he's clearly defined where each of the groups are. Like, you can tell over there are the Andoran forces because they each have their colors and their banners. Mm -hmm. Um, 
uh, placed there in their camps. The the Hell Knight Chelaxian forces that they were able to recruit uh, have their area, and that's where most of the demons are. Uh, mm-hmm. And you do notice that there is one really, really big tent mm-hmm. in the middle of it. Um, you're going to guess something important there. <laughs> Probably that's where Thrun's at. Oh, oh, I was trying to think. I'm like, who are the dominoes with me? What are they? Uh, and, but she leads you through uh, to a tent that is uh, set up large, um, almost more of a, um, like, and you, you know, the one that they did the, the show in at um, uh, Evermore? Like the big circus one? Yeah, was the in big, the yeah mm-hmm. something like that along those lines. Okay. And it, as she takes you in, you find there um, the Hell Knight uh, captain, the Vicarious of Enferak. Uh, you find the commander of the Andoran forces, and they are standing over a table with a map of uh, West Crown before them. But then there's one other person there. Doesn't quite seem to fit. He's very dressed, very noble uh, attire, but all of it looks a bit ragged. Um, it is torn, dirty in certain places. So it's the type of stuff you'd expect to fa- see on a Chalaxian noble, but worn. Hmm. And so as you walk up, you f- see that they are each, they're discussing the city and the plans of what to do. Okay. I'm just kind of come up and just listen to where they are right now in the conversation. Roll okay. me a perception check. Okay. 17. 17. You're able to, to hear that they are... Um, Discussing different troop movements, uh, the in on the island it has been surrounded by these Alum enforcers, and that there is there is no way in. There's no bridges. All the bridges have been destroyed. Uh, there is no way in except for by boat um, or flying. But those that they've sent in, no one's come out. Well, that's not necessarily a surprise, is it? Are you, who are you saying this to? The group at large. They all kind of look back at you. Um, and they're like, Oh, you made it. We were worried. Yes, I can tell. Um, so, we have been unable to make the assault. Uh, we've tried. The original plan was a strike force. Mm-hmm. And that is where I believe our friend here can help. Uh, he is a member of an organization that has been... Gosh, I cannot find the right music this to is this like, moment. This is like, I don't know, presidential. It is. I'm trying to find the right m- music to fit the moment, and it is not coming to me. We can uh, we can take all. a pause. We can take a pause. But he's like, he, um, he's a thief. And it, you see this pause because this is coming from the Hell Knight uh, Vicarious, and you see him straining as he says this, like, I really want to throw this guy in jail. Hmm. He has a way into the city. Well, fantastic. It's not big. It can fit. We can maybe get five people at a time in. Okay. Why is that a problem? Do you really, do you want to go in there with? We were only going to descend a strike force to begin with anyway. Yes, but now we're all here. And so we thought this would be, like, why in danger lies with... Looks like that's back where we're at. So... Well, is there anything we can do to actually draw out? We have tried to no avail. Have you tried just shooting cannons at the walls? Well, unfortunately, our most of our cannons... And he turns to the, the fleet of ships... 
that are badly beat up and not, you know, barely seaworthy at this point. We've blasted it with spells, but unfortunately they don't penetrate. They hit a shield. Hmm. Is it a physical and magical, or do you think it's just a magical shield? It mainly seems to be magical, um, but most of our physical attacks would just be arrows. And do you have any trebuchets? We are building, but mm. it'll take time. <clears throat> we did not come prepared for a siege. No. Mm. Don't think any of us thought we'd all get here at the same time. Um. And unfortunately, those beings that we fly try to fly there from other planes mm -hmm. are banished once they cross the, the threshold. What about a flying creature that's not from a different plane? Do you have any? Yes. What? Please, share. I mean, I'm our, just going to look at Az really quick, like... Do you think this is a good idea? And I was like, what are you talking about? I don't... He's like telepathically like... Yeah. What are you talking about, Donna? You and I both have wings. Anna, I can fly for about 10 minutes. And you look over and it's a wide span. But we could do it. I'm like, if we, if we had a precise place that we were going to and landing at, we could do it. I'm going to tell you that you can gauge the distance. You probably couldn't. You'd have a very hard time making it across. And as Kaya says to you mentally, Anna, they're already talking about us going in. So it's the same thing. No, my idea is that we just then just fly over there. Instead of this little hidey hole thing that they're talking about. As kind of steps forward. And let me ask this. Uh, this entrance that you have is it just into the city or is it something that will allow for more cover and you watch as the the nobleman turns towards you this thief but you can tell he is dressed finely mm -hmm. um, and he he looks i am of a noble house i am not a thief however i have certain contacts within the certain organizations that exist within the city that can get you into the sewers. Underground. Away from the obvious. If you try and fly over, you will have them firing at you. Well, I don't know what creature you have, but they'll be able to fire at you. And, I mean, if you have a dragon, also, that would be great, but... <gasps> As. Uh, what? What do you think? We could try and contact her. I could try. Because if she could get here, she could be a major help. We can try that, but remember they did say that magic wouldn't go in and dragons are magical creatures. I know, but she could sit on the bank and she could like... <sighs> and hopefully they can't mind control a dragon. I don't think they can mind control an ancient gold dragon. Anna, they were here before the gods. I'm just saying. So, it's it's a danger. But either way, if we're going in, we'd need to go in. It would be wise to go in. I okay. mean, we could get on her back and try and just fly in. And then make a huge ruckus. I mean, there is there is reason for stealth, but sometimes not doing the stealthy thing is also. I would let you, I would let the commander of the strike force tell me. <laughs> How would you don't like do to that? Go? No, simply, I mean, I my you know me, I am used to being a little more stealthy. I would generally go the sewers. However, if we have the dragon there to distract, that could also be good. Um, I don't think she'd probably even get here with any real amount. I don't even know if she's on this plane right now. I have no... Wasn't she off with the other dragon? Makare? Yeah. Yeah. Makare. <laughs> uh, 
I, I think so. I think she was off with him, but I don't. I don't know. Well, we can try. We can definitely try. It's all a question of how do we want to approach this. <sighs> we he can take us turn it to the like kind of open it up to the to the group because I feel like half of this conversation has been happening in our heads uh-huh. and half They're of it has been out loud. <laughs> um. We we have a possibility of calling on a resource of an acquaintance of ours who also happens to be an ancient gold dragon. They but, all kind of <laughs> stare at you like Tony has a wait. You are an acquaintance of an ancient golden dragon. Yeah, she actually there, gifted us her home in Kintago. I thought there weren't any more gold, ancient gold dragons. Didn't oh no, there's this get controlled by there was this Yes, but then they destroyed it and then Mankari it's like it's a whole thing, but um essentially there's two left and we're friends with one of them. And we could possibly contact her and ask her to come. I can't guarantee she would come. But we could. She's quite amenable. She seems to like us for a lot for some reason. Um, but that will take time. And I I just want to open it up to the group of that is a possibility. We could call on that. Or, I mean, we could still do that and also go into the city. So uh, would you want to call on this and then wait for them to come or have them as a additional force to support? Either. So I think either way it would work. I mean, a giant dragon showing up at the banks of Kuth Waldwin's territory would definitely distract yes it would definitely distract and pull attention um uh but i either honestly either way i feel like we could it would work you are the strike captain do what do you are the one going in there i know so do you want to go in there with a dragon out here i i for us? The reason I open it up is because if we go in and Alea is here, mm-hmm. then she is going to be working with you. She would not be working with us. Yes. So it's just, it, it's a question of whether Is or there not anyone here that she would know that would work? Because if you're not there, would she even work with us? Yeah, she would. We would tell her what's going on, what we are doing. And as well, say you telepathically, I believe she knows the Domino. Oh, and Farmer Magdalene. Yes. Uh, she knows Farmer Magdalene very well, actually. Um, and the Domino's like, who? who is this? Alea? Uh, Farmer Magdalene, you know her as well. Uh, we've met her at uh, some parties. She's a beautiful woman. She's long, blonde yes. hair. She's a dragon. Oh. I know. We kind of had that reaction at the same time. Like, when we figured that out. Mm-hmm. I had a dragon at my summer ball. Yes. In Farmer Magdalene, you spent basically an entire summer with her. <laughs> and Farmer Magdalene isn't there. She's not there. No, no. Wait, she's, she was with... I didn't say she was there. No, you did. She was one of the NPCs. She's in the armies. I'm saying she's not in this tent. Oh, I thought she meant that it's okay. She's not in this they tent were, right now. I thought they were all there. No. Okay, fine. Well, um, so I, yes, I, I mean, I could, I, I know, uh, uh, first so we can, a dragon. Let's, how about, okay, as, will you send her a message and just see if she's even around? Yes, I will, uh, I can do that. Okay. And then we will prepare for this more stealthy way of getting in. Because if she comes... She will be a wonderful distraction. If not, we can, as you said, you are not equipped for a siege. So we can... That would... uh, We can go in stealthily and... And we will launch a siege. Yes. Okay. 
Well, I'll reach out and see when this dragon can be here. And we will s plan from there. And that's where we're going to end tonight. And so we'll see you next. I knew I was going to get Alea in this final section somehow. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right. And that's where we'll end. So you are now in West Crown. We now can begin these plans and these assaults. And we're calling on the help of Kukwalder. our dragon friend. We'll call in all the NPCs and all the friends to together assault Kuth Waldwin. And we will see that it'll be in two weeks because next week we were out oh, in California. So sad. We're going to be on the beach. Okay, I'm going to be on the beach. Weston's going to be working. Yes. But I'm going to be on the beach. <laughs> so thank you all so very much for joining us tonight. Thank you, guys. And uh, let's see. Should we try and see if anyone's there to raid? Maybe Lost Tribes Gaming is still going. They might, they might still be going. They're doing a fun VTM episode where they're doing a Christmas party. And I'm really sad because my they characters are only... Not. They're not live right they're now? They're not live right now. We got Q time. Oh, okay. We can do Q times. Let's go vi raid our friends Q times. Let's go raid our friends Q times. Thank you all so much for being here. And remember, it only takes two. Good night, you guys. Mwah. So starting that raid in... Three, seven, two, six, one. D that, no, you had to count. On. Oh, three, two, two. one. <laughs> and there we go.